all the time when I unplug it, then it won't come back. Uh, the star of the show will be returning? Yeah, Mallory, how rude. Is she the star? I feel like we should change the title to Snail Slime Attacks. Snail Slime? Yeah, Snail Slime. That's her thing. Mm -hmm. That's her uh, skin routine. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah. How could you forget? How? Yeah, you're right. It was just essential to remember that. <laughs> We've missed you, Mallory. Not dangling. She just trash talked you the whole time, but the rest of us missed you. We hope you're having fun living in a parking lot. Collecting stuff off the beach for food. <laughs> uh, today, what did I say we we're gonna do? Look at cat whiskers. It's a song. Oh yeah, we've got uh, kitty whiskers sent to us by Double and Mrs. J, and also, um, she sent some milkweed. Uh, so we have like the husk of a milkweed plant and also some of the uh, sort of floof, floof from inside of a milkweed plant. Floof. Yeah, you I think that's, cat, I think it's called Corn floof. Dogs? I'm pretty sure it's called floof. But they're called cattails. Mm, no. Corn dogs. Neither of those things. You don't know what a milkweed looks like, do you? Things out in the swamp that look like corn dogs. No. Am I wrong? Those are called cattails. They are called cattails. That was <laughs> That's not milkweed, though. Okay. Um, it turns out there are other plants. Are there other plants? Yeah, oh, besides corn dog, corn dog plants, as you call them. Mallory saw a manatee. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, did you collect any samples from the manatee? You know there are diatoms that live exclusively on uh, manatees. There's a whole genus that only lives on whales and manatees and dolphins. Well, she said she's going to catch it. That's good. That's good. They're relatively stupid, so they're easy to catch. So... Uh, probably a little bit illegal, but, uh, you know, you're always living on the edge, so... Uh, the first sample we have here, cha, is uh, milkweed. Uh, this is the husk, the top of a milkweed plant. And uh, really, we're just kind of looking at the cells on the inside. And then uh, somewhere around the outside margins here is some of the floof material that was inside of it. I thought maybe we'd be able to find some pollen grains, and maybe we have. It sounds like somebody's coming into the lab. It doesn't. Maybe intercept them. Unless they're going to that lab. In which case, maybe shut the door. You over there, shut the door. You want it like that? What? Um, she presented on, um... Jenna. Yeah, yeah. All right. Do you follow, uh, Kathy's, like, Instagram? TikTok? Okay. Laura is not yeah. here. That's good. Who? Is somebody asking about Laura? You know, your part of your job is to read the chat to me, not just answer them. Mallory said, Laura, question mark. Not really a question, it's Laura. <laughs> uh, read this Mallory. Isn't that what straight girls do at the beach? I have a boyfriend now. Disgusted face. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> I'm not reading the chat to you because it's irrelevant at this point. They're talking about Cuban people and... 
don't know. <laughs> what? Also, these boys don't look good. So now. Nah. <laughs> I'm sort of curious what Mallory thinks good looking boys look like. Her boyfriend. They have to be at least seven foot tall. Yeah. Mary! There's hey. Mary. Hi. Welcome. How's it going, Mary? She looks very patriotic. Yeah. She's wearing a flag. It's very comfy. Is it? Chat, doing chat things. Winky face. True, Cordis. <laughs> Which part's true? Yeah. Chat, doing chat things. Talking about who knows what. We don't know what chat is talking about? Cuban men. Oh, or the I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't be talking about ugly men in Florida. Well, that's not my choice. That's Some of our viewers may be from Florida and they might be offended. Florida should be its own country right now. So it's okay. Um. <laughs> Mary! What? Is what Mallory what? said. What? Mallory, Mar Mallory said Mary! Oh, hi Mallory. Um, Mallory said nine foot actually. Oh, okay. She needs You're a nine foot tall boyfriend. Because you don't cook sweet a sweet potato cracker. I bought three one, and I'm oh gonna make a perfect God. one. How are you still not making <laughs> sweet potatoes? I bought three more to try them out too. How many sweet potatoes have you tried to make? At least four. I thought Five about getting times. a sweet potato just to prove that I could do it, and you couldn't do it. <laughs> You're just gonna be hard as a rock. Literally, that text me. Sassy chat today, of course. It's always sassy chat. Uh, Mary, do you want to control the SCM? Sure. Give me a second. I found something weird in this thing. I wanted to figure out what it was. Were these my samples or is this something else? No, but I did look at your samples earlier. And the clay is out, but they're a little dense. But I think we can still look at them tomorrow. Okay. Um, for the next round, you might want to make them a little bit less dense. We're looking at cat whiskers. Milkweed, which is cat <laughs> I don't remember what else. This is from the person over there who wants to be a doctor. I don't need milkweed to be a doctor. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, God. What if you have to do surgery on a monarch caterpillar? Well, good thing I'm not a vet. <laughs> so what are we looking at right now? This is a husk of a milkweed plant. Mary's in charge. She can't handle the SEM. Mary can't? Yeah, that's what. No, Mary. That's what, is that's what Dangling it. said. Uh, Dangling, you can't handle it. Dangling, <laughs> that's it. Can't handle Mary, you said so. all, all day on Monday with no trouble and took great pictures. Yeah. We have evidence that says. I saw otherwise. them on the Instagram. So this is Ethan no Milkweed? Yeah, it's like, uh, you know the top of a milkweed, there's like a little... Oh, the fluffy part? The fluffy part's on the next stub over, okay. actually. This is the part that holds the fluffy part. Okay. I don't know Somebody here knows what a milkweed plant. I have no plant. clue what that is. It I... is the primary food of a monarch butterfly in its caterpillar state. And they're all over my yard. I used to cut the dandelions? The, these yeah. plants. Dandelions. She's very familiar with them. No, not dandelion. Milkweed. You only know Dandelions two too. I mean, I live out in the country. <laughs> Make You're it like, do I know a flip. cattail and I know dandelion. I are biology. Student. My plant bloomed. What plant Ooh. is it? What plant? A lil, uh, a lily of some kind. It's pink. I thought it was gonna die and it bloomed today. Let's find some monarch bite marks on this thing. Chomp chomp. He said that. I said chomp chomp, but Cordis said, let's <laughs> find some monarch bite marks on this thing. I think they actually eat the leaf part. Devils and Mrs. J is here. Oh, you know what? There's a shout out you can give for her. It's just exclamation point, Mrs. J, all one. Just Mrs. J? M-R-S-J. Yep. This is a sample that Devil and Mrs. J sent to us in an envelope. With the uh, kitty whiskers and some mica. The milkweed fibers are probably 25 to 30 years old. Where did they come from? from? Prehistoric milkweed. Uh, yeah, this is pre Rihanna milkweed. Nobody told oh, me that. Oh, it actually is. <laughs> Dang. Nobody told me it would be so old. 
Thank you for the show. Where did you get them from? We need some background information. Uh, everybody wants to know whose cat you molested to get the whiskers out <laughs> and uh, what rocks you molested to get the mica out. Western New York. Oh. That's where the milkweed's from? Yeah, well, how do you know it's 25, 30 years? Like, where did you find it at? In your yard? It's clearly from a milkweed collection she has that goes all the way back. Mm -hmm. This is the vintage milkweed food. I thought that'd be something more interesting, but it's not. That's okay. We don't actually even need to take a picture of this part. Um, you know, do whatever you want, Mary. You're in charge. Oh, goodness. You got this. <laughs> We're, have you guys looked at this a bunch, or did you just start looking just at it? Started. Yeah, okay. we just started. I still have the microscope from when I was a kid, and the milkweed and mica were samples I took from my yard. Oh, wow. see, that's cool. Mallory said, by the way, I redeemed micro authority. I want to make sure you know. I saw it. What does that do? It allows her to pick what we put on the SCM. What do you want wow. to pick, Mallory? The stuff she collected. Weren't you paying attention? Mrs. J said, I did grab the micro from underneath a giant flat rock. That's where I would expect it to come from. So these uh, pieces of sort of silk that come out of the milkweed at the top. Mm -hmm. Is that what this is? Yeah, that's some of that. And there's a whole stub full of it. The next one over. Mm, that's not what I meant to. And before you rotate it, we might want to lower it just a little. Okay. Uh, down to 15, because the beetle head's over there. Mallory said, Mary in charge, Mary in charge, Mary in charge. <laughs> We put Mary in charge. On um, Mrs. J said, "There's probably a lot of dust and paper towel particles in there too." Below up. I think I saw some pollen, uh, so there's probably some pollen mixed in with it. Um, I couldn't tell if it was milkweed pollen, but um, I did see some pollen grains in there. Micah said, wow, Micah looks so cool. We're not looking at the Micah yet, Micah. <laughs> Micah, 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 is what Mallory said. Micah said, oh wait, are you not there yet? We are not. We are on the cat, um, milkweed. Is this this part of the stub right here? Uh, that's or the outside edge of the stub, yeah. Okay. And that's the bit of milkweed. And I, what I did is I just ripped a little bit of the, so there was like a little bit of the husk in there. Mm -hmm. And in I ripped that part. In the right corner of our screen, it's a um, yeah, gallery of pictures that have been taken on the SEM of diatoms and just some of the other things that we've looked at under the SEM. Yeah, those are images that are on the Instagram page, Cordis. So, uh, you know, we collect a lot of images and so there's a lot of diatoms and then other things that we've looked at um, on the SEM as well. And then they've been colorized by me using mostly Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom, um, which is like a photo editing uh, tool that I take the TIFF and I turn it into a JPEG and then I play with the colors until I like the way it looks. And then, uh, and then I post it to the Instagram page, the colors. Sometimes I take it over into Procreate in my, on my iPad, and, uh, and then I do some very specific sort of color selection, contrast selection, um, editing, and then I bring it back into Lightroom and tweak it some more. Just depends on how crazy I'm feeling about the color scheme. And then oftentimes I'll take it into mm -hmm. Instagram and I'll use some of the filters on Instagram, and then sometimes I'll even take it from that back into uh, Lightroom and tweak it some more, depending on how toasted I want it to be. Mrs. J said, I didn't harvest the kitty whiskers, uh -huh. They were naturally shed. I always find them around the cat condom or on our bed. Hello, Nidforski. Nidforsi. <laughs> Nidforski? That's amazing. Do you know what? There is a, uh, also a command for new. There is? I got it. Look at that. Wow. 
my objective is anybody who's a streamer uh, that hangs out in here regularly, I just will make a command for them. Because it's easier to type that than shout out whoever with a generic thing. Yeah. Do we want to look at something else? I want to look at the cat whiskers. I want to see. The so the next How do one I lower over is the just this full of the cat tail on the this one but let me lower it before you okay. move okay. just a little we got to we got to get just one run them over <laughs> just you know Eleanor just run her over uh, so just see. don't get any sticks we near got her Mary, Brianna, <laughs> and Ooh, that's how better than her Mike Mike said that Micah, who gave me that originally? I can't remember. That nickname. I want to say want to get a picture of these. You can look like cool, kind of spirally hairy things. But uh, you know, you're in charge. Do Are these some whiskers? No, that's a lot of whiskers. If that were that's cat whiskers, confused. the cat would be bald around the face. <laughs> <laughs> Might take a few cats to get that many. Wednesday has to sacrifice. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen any of Wednesday's whiskers laying around the place. Um, I suppose it's possible. Yeah, the three helper researchers, and all I'm doing is just hanging out now. Right? <laughs> Me and Eleanor are in the back just watching you guys. Yeah. Backseat driving. I should add that tag, backseat driving aloud. <laughs> with the Zergs. Yeah, I like that. Uh, that's actually kind of a cool image. When I'm gonna, I'm gonna color it and make it look really cool. What color are you gonna make it? What color would you like me to make it? Green like grass. Green like grass? It looks like grass. Uh, you don't think it looks like uh, fairy feathers or... We have a fairy feather on the Instagram already. I was gonna say yellow like spray cheese. Spray? Yellow spray cheese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know what you're talking that's about. You mean like silly string or? Yeah, yeah. It's just like a bright orange. Good yellow. news, everyone! Yeah, like spray cheese. <gasps> you should send a babe. Can we put a kitten's tooth on there and look at it? Oh, sorry, a what? A kitten's tooth. How are we gonna get a tooth? She has teeth. She just said that. Oh, no, wow. They have baby teeth that have been naturally shed. She, she knocks the teeth out of her cat's mouth. She does. <laughs> she punches them, she said. Oh my goodness. Hey, we've got a follow and you didn't even say anything. Thank you for following Avocado. Abogado? Third tries the charm. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's okay. Or if you admit it, we like, know. purple. I suspect like maybe what coaster. happens is uh, whenever I do the bird streams, her cat very aggressively watches the stream. Mm -hmm. And, and then uh, she probably has to punch that. it in the mouth to get it to settle down. <laughs> That's what I do with my cat. Oh yeah, my no wonder when they're so you. scared. No wonder when they're trying to bite everyone that pets her. Do you know Trust the, uh, <laughs> obviously I'm joking, the... She didn't bite me. <laughs> trust issues, she has trust issues. Wednesday comes to me every time and then she climbs up on me and asks me to pet her. People love their abusers, it's, it's true. People love <laughs> their abusers, huh. Is that what happens? And then you set their house on fire? Yep. <laughs> Yep. No, she is the Poor Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> I know. I think we I'm reveal a little bit, a lot about Brianna. She lives like a mole under the ground. <laughs> she wants to set fire to uh, other people's houses. Compulsively make sweet potatoes. Can't figure out how to use an oven. <laughs> Just keep Even the lowest them. setting on the oven is too challenging for Today her. Today I had meatless <laughs> chicken patty. So. Wait, this is pre-cooked? Uh, I can't make my own meatless chicken patty, so yes. You and can't. then I put it on the stove and I make it. Why can't you make your own meatless chicken patties? Because I don't have soy. I don't even know how to use soy. <laughs> you don't know how to use tofu? <laughs> no, I, I use tofu. We make tofu chicken nuggets. I, I have some in my fridge, actually. Have you taken any pictures today? No. Okay. Uh, you can just go hit OK. And then here, go up level two levels. Call it string cheese. This? The green yeah. arrow up button String next to cheese it. is the name. This. Right there, yeah. Up, up. And then this is under butterfly and blue jay. And you can just stick it in cicada folder, that's fine. String cheese. That one, yeah. 
anywhere in there is good. Change the name. String okay. cheese. Okay. String cheese or else go home, I guess. What is seitan? What is what? Seitan. Is that a type of, <laughs> is that a vegetarian food? Um, what do you want it named? String cheese, I guess? I don't know. Um, whenever I'm really hungry, I eat it. string cheese without peeling it. But when I'm like feeling, a monster? But when I'm feeling calm, I'll peel it. Okay. Which is not very often. I ate string cheese for uh, lunch today. You did? Yep. Did you bite into it or did you peel it? I peeled it like a normal person. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had yeah. to I had to bite into mine right. when I had braces. Yeah. And so now that's just kind of how I eat cre or string cheese and like a monster? Yeah. Oh, wow. See? Look at all the curlies. What does it taste like? What is like what would you would you compare it to tofu? I'm what? Talking, I'm talking to somebody. Oh. <laughs> Side conversation. <laughs> You know, Danglin, I could have used your help yesterday, but you forced us. You didn't ask me to help you with anything. <laughs> Why didn't you ask me? Oh, you they, they were trying to play uh, uh, Valorant, but they <gasps> could not figure out how to buy guns. You couldn't figure out. No, guys, that's, bro, they it's literally, it's the, the B button for buy. You click B. That's what they couldn't figure out. Yep. But they eventually figured it out without you, and then they lost. I see. Badly. <laughs> and wow. then they switched to Apex. There is, there was no invite. And I was just sitting at home in my bed. Well. <laughs> they probably figured you weren't going to respond. I would have. You got to tag me though, so you know. Maybe if I you guys make friends, make friends inside the game, and then when they play, you'll see it. They pinged me in Discord. I got to turn my notifications. Oh, oh. somebody did I... get pinged and they didn't answer their ping. That's weird. And then tried to throw it back at the people who actually did a ping. Yeah, I think that we shouldn't be calling people monsters for eating string cheese like that. You're right. <laughs> Hurtful. <laughs> uh, I don't I'm... actually think it matters how you eat string cheese. I'm going to turn on my notifications. So that I can get that next time. Yes, she made it in a stream. Who? Devil and Mrs. J. Oh, she usually doesn't make it? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Mind of a snail is here. Hello, Mind of a Snail. How do I turn that off? Do put a little snail command in. It's all right. I can moderate my own channel. I'm trying to turn on my notifications. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's be nice. I don't feel like I wasn't being nice. Yeah, they all say. Uh, it's always a food and cooking stream when we have Rihanna on because she doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> She was bragging earlier about making frozen beanless chicken and having accomplished it, which I think you just put it in on like a cookie sheet and cook it in the Well, oven. two nights ago I made Basically tofu. Basically chicken nuggets. I made tofu nuggets, put them in um, vegetable broth. Nice. And then flour, egg, panko crumbs with cayenne pepper and salt and pepper, and I made them. So nice. that's an accomplishment. I can't cook sometimes. I'm making fruit tart this weekend. And I'm she's making excited. us a... Um, fruit tart. Yes. She's also going to make us a fruit pizza and bring it to us. Yeah. Fruit if pizza. If it's good. If it fails, it's going in the trash, but... You're just going to make it and throw it in the trash? Well, what if it's, like, cooking ridiculously from. runny? Nobody wants to eat that. Eating vegan in the Do you make sauce. a fruit pizza by cooking it? Or is that, like, just cooled in the refrigerator with whipped cream So it's, like, something? think of, like, graham cracker crust. Yeah. And it's, like, cream cheese. It's not graham cracker crust. Yes, it is. It is sugar cookie dough, and you cook yeah. it in the oven. You're gonna, you're gonna ruin it. With it's not actually cracker. pizza, and I was it's very confused. I'm about to make it's an actual. I'll dessert. make one too. It's my sugar favorite cookie thing crust. in the world. There's gonna be a Clap. fight on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> if I make it though, I might eat some of it first and then bring it in. Sorry, I'll probably Can't eat some wait. of my first and bring it in. See, she said one of her best friends wrote a cookbook. I know. For so vegan, cool. which you could get. I'm actually. You should send us a link. Send us a link to it, Emma and Mrs. J, so people can download a or get to the file and uh, and buy it. 
String cheese too. String cheese too. Those look really good. Do we Very need? Artsy looking. Do we need yes. more string cheese? Mm. No, I feel like we've reached string cheese saturation. Unless you really find something here. I'm tired cheese. of string cheese. <laughs> Move on. Yeah. Okay. What's next? Cat whiskers. Just go to number three. We'll see what's there. It's not cat whiskers. What's number three? It's Micah for Micah. Oh, yay. Micah, you're, it's your turn to shine. <laughs> what is Micah? Powder? Oh my goodness. It's a rock. Can you help her out, Eleanor? And or Mary, is. the geologist in the room? <laughs> I don't um, know what Micah is. Someone explain. It's, I actually have some in um, our, in my, the lab. Not in here. Rock. Is that the one that's but it's a rock. Like it's the one that's really flaky. It's flaky. Where it has like, it comes off in sheets. Yes. Okay. You should know this geology. I do know this. I it's was a, double checking. It's a mineral. See? Micah's Thank coming. you, Micah. It's a mineral. See, that's what I was saying. Micah powder. It's used in eyeshadow. An eyeshadow. That's why I was wondering. GeoGym is here. GeoGym could explain it to us as well. I just know it's a makeup and people use it for pigment. That's cool. Mary, now you need to tell us. What? What is the arrangement of the tetrasilicate structure for mica? They're sheets. I don't know what they are. <laughs> you don't know which I one do, are the sheets? I don't remember. Tetrasilicate structure. Mm. What else comes in sheets that are flaky? Pastries. And? Pastries. If are you talking about a pastry, what do you make it out of? Sugar. A kind of dough called? Egg What'd you say? Flour. No. <laughs> Pita? Um, um, no. I don't know what it's called. It's the yellow flat one. No. If I want to make spanakopita, I make it out of? Spanakopita? I don't, I don't know, know what that is. is. <laughs> Lasagna cheese. I don't know. What? Oh my gosh. I don't know. Mary, you know what spanakopita is? the answer. No. no. I can't believe you people. <laughs> Wait. No, I don't know. Someone in the chat can help. Filo. There we go. There it, we go. Filo. She gave you help. Is it Fio or Filo? Filo. So what kind of silicate would it be? Phyllosilicate? Phyllosilicate. There you go. Sheets. I was not very good at that section of geo or of mineralogy. I go. will point that out. There you go. We're talking geology on screen. It does show up on is here. That's a good one. I don't that, know. That's until next fall. Breaks off in sheets. Phyllosilicate. You got to get ahead of the game. Now you know. I'm trying. I'm <laughs> going as fast as I can. See, my name is now knows what my spanakopita is. You know what spanakopita is? Vegetarian food. It's made Wait, with what's in it? Spinach. <laughs> egg. I don't think there's any egg in it. Uh. It's spinach and uh, feta cheese and, uh, and then mm. phyllo dough. Oh. I like is this called picture. like spanakopita? Are you thinking of manicotti? No. That has last cheese night, in it. Uh, That's a pasta dish. I went to Dr. Glenn Denning's last night, and Dr. Fitch had made this thing with like eggs, jalapeno, <laughs> and cheese. I didn't don't remember the name. He said something with an M. Eggs, jalapeno, and cheese. Yes, you are all so smart. You guys get A pluses for today, and A plus for attendance for showing up. I didn't even realize we were giving grades. Um, Micah said we are all so smart, so I feel like they deserve it. I feel like he's being a little too inclusive. <laughs> Mary, stop talking about you. I'm just gonna... Okay. <laughs> she doesn't care. She's like, I'm just running the SCM guys. You need to chatter back there. At Dr. Glenn Dendings, he ordered an ice cream truck. It's crazy. An ice cream truck. And none Did of you, you were eat there. any ice cream? Yeah, I got a SpongeBob bar. When he ordered the truck, did he pay for everything that they gave you? It's pretty nice. I know. Wow. Did everybody get excited when it came down the road? Did I was the, scared. Did it play the ice cream music? It didn't. I, I was out in the back of there playing Boku or something. And I was like, why is there an ice cream truck out in the middle of nowhere? It's just creepy. What were they playing? Boku. 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 Boka. Boku. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> There's a ball, a little white ball in the middle, and you have to roll them, and whoever gets the closest oh, gets the points. Game. Do you mean bocce ball? Yeah, bocce ball. <laughs> That's a yard game? I when I saw I go, are you guys shot putting? Because they didn't throw them, and I saw these little balls in their hands. <laughs> and there's like a, a an area, and I was like, I guess that's what we're doing. You're, uh, 
Your yard <laughs> game awareness is very low. I watched them play that one game for the first time, the card game. Only people from Indiana really know. Euchre? Yeah. Well, that is not people from Indiana. That is a global phenomenon. <laughs> How many of you know what Euchre is and you're not from Indiana? Please oh, put oh, it Oh, I'm in the from chat. Indiana, but... Yeah, exactly. Well, you don't know what it is. I know what it is. Exactly, you're from Indiana. It doesn't count. I'm not from Indiana and I know what it is. You've been converted here. No, Next. I haven't. Next. Next. You can tell when I switch to becoming somebody from Indiana because I'll be saying things Don't like... Don't lie. Give me a head count. Who knows what you is? <laughs> Are you wanting to play bocce ball? That's how I would say it if I was from Indiana. Bocce Instead ball. of saying, I want, I want to, to play <laughs> bocce ball. Do you, you'd say what? Do you want to play bocce ball? Instead of I want to play bocce ball? No, are you wanting to play bocce ball? Adding the ing at the end. Why? We what? had a whole conversation what about... That's how they talk Heard here. of it, but it I don't is know how what we talk. it is. Are you from Indiana, Micah? Probably not. I forget where he's from. He says he's known it, and he plays it, and he's from Wisconsin. Oh, Was yeah, cheese! I think, it's a, I think it might I be a Midwest thing. Maybe not global, that. but... It's cheese. not a Midwestern thing. People play euchre everywhere. That is a game that's Sending played everywhere. Sending my cousins everywhere. in Minnesota. My last job, we made See, his cousins in Minnesota for the play euchre. Everybody plays euchre. It's true. How do you send them all over the world? Like, shipping. They oh. order them through the company, and oh. we send them off. Because we made the little wood blocks for Yeah. It. Was she mocking me? She was. I don't know who you're talking about. I mean, I don't know how to play you. It was, it, it was confusing. I the watched rules are kind of confusing at first, but uh, definitely, like everybody I know has played you. We played an intense game of spoons. <laughs> it was intense. I got second. There were fourteen of us. There's a little bit of uh, the corn silk from the or the silk from the milkweed sticking onto the. That's milkweed. what it is, isn't I think it? That's what that is. Right here looked interesting. What do you think about Micah up close? I still Looks really like, like it. How do we define uh, the Micah groups? Serrated. They got the sheets. They have the sheets? Yeah, I agree. How do we say that in geology terms? Um, they're... No. Dr. Dr. Brake would be so disappointed in me right now. I'm glad she doesn't watch the stream. <laughs> me too. What does it mean when it's layered? Um, okay, like also, you had geology. You should know this. Can you tell me what it starts with? This is from the entry lab. Can you tell me what it starts with? Again? How do you describe when things break off in perfect sheets? It's got cleavage. Um, what kind of cleavage? One it's part. one, but I can't think of the actual word for it. I tried to give you a hint. What does it start with? One dimensional, one directional, one. Yeah. I tried to give you a hint. It's actually called perfect cleavage mm -hmm. when something breaks off in single sheets. And it does mean it has one cleavage point. Wow, geology majors. Embarrassing. Imagine not being a geology major. Imagine not knowing is. anything about being. I did geology. almost geology fail major. mineralogy, yeah. so there's that. Imagine being a biology major and not knowing what a milkweed plant is. Imagine, <laughs> imagine. Or not going outside. It's not essential. What is essential? So we can quiz you on that. Um, ask me. Chemistry? Yeah, so say ask me anything. Ugh. I got you. Not too specific though. Mm -hmm. Organics, what made me switch to geology? There you go. No, thank you. Um, I kind of like this. I got my notifications on now. It's taking you this long to get your notifications on? <laughs> no, I just got one from Neville Mr. Jack. Mr. Oh, Jack. Okay. Imagine not studying STEM, but being here anyway for some reason. <laughs> That's the best way to go because then after you leave the stream, you don't even have to deal with it. After we're done. It's all we think about. I kind of like is this picture. Moving like, in STEM. I feel like 80% of your time is thinking about sweet potatoes. <laughs> and the other 20% is fashion. Fashion? Yeah. Nah. Mineral mineralogy was tough. Dressed me out for an entire semester. Geo Amen. <laughs> yes. You know, I thought mineralogy was kind of challenging, but <coughs> crystallography is what we had to take. 
which was we had a mineralogy mm. and and um, crystallography, and having to learn all the like Miller indices stuff. We learned some of that, but I honestly, that was not my strong point in the semester. I did really well in the labs when we had like a list of all the minerals and I could like just the names I could identify them. But then when we had quizzes, I didn't have a list. So I had a hard time like. You need a word bank? Yeah, I need a word bank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, mineralogy made more sense to me after I was no longer uh, doing geology, but had to teach geology. And it actually comes down to that question about things that break off in sheets, it's actually more, it's easier than you think it is once you start sort of looking at it from a chemistry perspective. Yeah. So, what do you find for us, Mary? I don't know, I just thought this area was really cool. We take no. all types here, avocado. Uh, you don't have to be in stone. That's what it looks like, not in... What? That's like, I don't know, it was like a corner like right here, uh -huh. it was folded up. I guess you guys can't see on it. Right here was folded up from the rest of the rock. Mineral. Mineral. If you have any recommendations, I'll take them. I'll go try one. <laughs> what are you asking about? I'm trying to find the best sweet potato. Every time I go somewhere with a sweet potato, I like to try it, see if I can find the best one. Cracker Barrel is pretty much pretty far up there. The Outback is like pretty solid. I've had one from the Alamo, from Texas Roadhouse. Do you go to time. Aldi at all? You know Aldi? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, they have sweet potato casseroles, which is not necessarily a sweet potato. It's basically sweet potatoes without the skin. Smashed sweet potato. So it's and already squishy. I don't have to like, worry crust. about it being raw. Yeah. It's like, like it's that got, it's in like a black container. It's got like the mashed potatoes, brown sugar, and pecans on top of it. And it's really good. And my mom always brings it to family functions. I'll have to try it. But it's seasonal. Yeah, they know. don't always have it. So it's kind of disappointing. I, I kind of feel like uh, <laughs> every time we have. Congrats oh on finishing law school, avocado. Uh, avocado. <laughs> I keep saying left part. That's nice. awesome. We're just going to call him avocado. That way you don't have to get. I am twisted. what I am. Uh, we are. I'm gonna move so this. Perplexed. Thank you. Right no, about the preparation. <laughs> I think I. I feel like just Rihanna is perplexed about the preparation. The rest I of just us don't know hand. how all sweet potatoes cook differently. When I cook mine for an hour and it's still hard, and why is the one at Outback like beautifully soft and just fantabulous? You know, I think they double. What's it called? I found one on um. Double bait. Yes, I think that's what they do, and I think that's what I'm gonna try. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> she like takes it out, it's just like black. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did sleep. We are talking about sweet potatoes again. I don't know how it keeps getting brought up. Someone brought it up. It wasn't me. <laughs> 24 hour sweet potato stream. I'm going to stream it. If you guys want to watch me, I can stream me making a sweet potato. This is, this is actually the best idea I think you've ever had. <laughs> what temp are you cooking it at? Mary told me 375, but last time I did it at like 400 something. 400 is too high. Well, it didn't work anyway, either the way. Have you tried putting a thermometer in your oven to make sure it's getting a temperature that's appropriate? Because maybe your, your oven's I think problem. my oven is very hot. Like, it gets, my friend said that my, they think my oven is like hotter than what it says it is. Does it have a, you have a thermometer you can put in the oven? I do at my home, but not here. <laughs> They're not very expensive. If you just go to a grocery store and buy an oven thermometer, it's probably $3 or $5. And then you could figure out what temperature it thinks it is versus what temperature it actually is. You know another food I want to learn how to make? I can't wait to hear. Okay, so my mom used to make really good deviled eggs. And Those so are so I never easy. figured out how to make them. And I can't now. And You can't? No. Because I, I don't know what the recipe is. And I asked my dad, and he doesn't make them right. <coughs> so when people add relish and stuff in them, disgusting. Don't do that. But I I want to make the deviled eggs that I used to have when Mary I was younger. Mary puts relish in hers, and she's upset now. Mary, you I put don't relish. put relish in mine. That's a mistake. But I want the <laughs> perfect deviled egg again. Like I can, Every time I go to a family gathering, garbage. Like, come on. You take one bite, and you just like... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I do. If they, they Some people just don't know what they're doing. <laughs> You can make these garbage <laughs> eggs and just throw it in the trash. 
If it's a baked potato, <laughs> you gotta put it in for four four minutes and twenty seconds. What? I think they mean the microwave. Yeah, probably the microwave. <laughs> An hour should be sufficient. I usually put mine on top rack under the filament. Check your equipment. Rookie rule number one. Yeah, check your equipment. Exactly, Craig. Mm -hmm. So, here's what I was going to say. Laura has a plan to do, like, a stream where she just goes from one restaurant to another and eats onion rings. She does? <laughs> yes. And I feel like the two of you could team up. <laughs> I do. And onion she could get the onion rings and you could get the sweet potatoes and then you guys could just move from place to place trying all the things. Here's the question I have, though. Yeah. What about sweet potato french fries? They're okay. What do you mean they're okay? They're, they're good. so good. Yeah. You like the sweet potato, but not the fry? Mm -hmm. No. I feel like you could, you could, I have you could make the sweet potato better. The, the sweet potato that you're aiming to I make. I want them to be squishy. Cut them into fries <laughs> and cook it like a french fry. I don't want to be rock solid. And then. Dip it in brown sugar. <laughs> or you can just buy a bag of sweet no. potato fries. Listen, listen. It's a thing. It is, it is a thing. Isn't listen. it Rally's that has good sweet potato fries? You know oh, I love Rally fries. They're so good. <laughs> the people who have good sweet potato fries is um, Rick's. Rick's? Yeah, the barbecue Like smokehouse? Place. Oh, okay. Yeah. They have it, and you know what they have? They sweet have like potatoes? Sweet potato fries, but they have like a cinnamon... Um, glaze or something? Like some sort of like a sugary, brown sugar glaze or on something. On them? On them. Those actually do sound good. And I think you would like it, and it may change your mind about... I think I need to try them. ...what you're doing with the sweet potato. Whatever you're doing, making potato bricks. I have a question. Has Laura talked to her or she's gone for yes. onion rings? Because I already know what the best ones are. Well, and I think they're discontinued, and it kills me every time. I, I go there, one time I went there just to get them. She the doesn't go to the chain restaurants. So. It's not. Well, it is chain restaurant. It's Cheddar's. Oh. Cheddar's has the best onion rings, and their ranch is homemade. They're the best onion rings I've ever had. And they Have make it into a Moggers, tower though? like this. Have you gone to Moggers? Mm -mm. So how to could Moggers. you say the best? You haven't even been you to You can't have places. that nasty crust, though. They ha Like, this crust is, like, flaky and real, not, like, from the fast food restaurants where it's just, like, mm. How's it, like? Like, just, like, flat on What's it. What's the noise it makes, though? <laughs> 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 potatoes and sweet potatoes could cook around the same temp- should cook around the same temp at time. Do we want to look at something else? Cat whiskers. <laughs> I get it. Uh, yes, I think cat whiskers is next. Which what one's place that? has the or? best cheese curds? I like Dairy Queen's cheese curds. <laughs> Sorry, Mary. I don't know if one's the cat whiskers on. Um, Dairy Queen has cheese curds? So good. They are not that I great. I work at Dairy Queen in my hometown. I'm with Mary. I don't think Mary, you are Mary, literally you're literally me. About, you're talking about fried cheese curds. Yeah. Not cheese curds. You just eat cheese balls? Culver's what? has the best cheese curds. No. Culver's. I've had Dairy Culver's Queen's. Culver's has pretty good everything. Yeah. When it comes to like... That's is this bad the cat hair? Miss J, will you tell them to yes, bring back the, the onion rings, hair. please? Because I need them back in my life. Culver's has got that like uh, uh, custard ice cream stuff yes. that's amazing. Also bad for you. See, I agree, Micah. Don't go there. Go to Dairy Queen. They're much better. He said yeah. Culver's cheese curds suck. Well, he's from Wisconsin, so I feel he like... He should know, yeah. I feel like he should know. I don't know that the dairy... Queen, I agree, I mean, Micah. Honestly, I, I don't them. eat my cheese curds fried. I just eat them. Is this the cat whiskers? Those are yes. cat whiskers. Look at those. Looks like nails. Like store-bought nails? Yeah, like the ones you nail on a wall. Like the kind you nail onto a wall? Yep. <laughs> you put nails in the wall? I actually did. We put eight holes in my friend's wall because we couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Which part couldn't you figure out? <laughs> sure. We Asking were, for a friend. We were wondering if her wall was drywall or not because it said different instructions. It is drywall and we did it wrong and it sunk into the wall and we had to get more nails. <laughs> and then we messed it up a few more times. Wait, what? can we back up just a little what bit? What were you doing? We were hanging up shelves. Oh. We wanted to decorate a room. <laughs> you couldn't tell it was drywall? No. What were the other options you thought it could be? Hard wall. What? Solid wall, like solid, those like not words, what? shallow actually, wall. Those aren't words. The wall with the stuff, look, nothing inside. You mean it. you didn't find like the the stud, like the the wood? 
No. No. Is no. that the... What? I don't... I feel like maybe you shouldn't be wielding a hammer or nails. <laughs> yeah, we also until you learn some sideways. terminology. I meant a nail sideways. So what you this meant... is like drywall. Your next option is things like paneling. I don't know what you're talking about by like hard wall. I think she like, was like, trying to find the stud to put the nail in. Are you talking about like plaster? Like, she doesn't even know what a stud is. I don't oh, think that's what she was okay. doing. Oh, it said if it was, what's the what's hollow in the middle wall called? Like when there's nothing behind it. Space. Whatever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they wanted you to put it on this. Dyer zoomed in That's on it pretty good. Well, hopefully the they don't care. It's in our hard wall, so uh, we hope we're not in trouble. All we're doing is just chatting about whatever it is that comes out of Rihanna's brain. <laughs> 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 Mrs. J said, I want to see the follicle. And then Minus said, did you attack a kitten to get these devil? Mrs. J said, no. <laughs> and then no kittens were harmed. They were naturally shed whiskers. Ooh, neat. She oh, should no longer be allowed to call it a hammer anymore. It should be a rock with stick attachments to her. Poutine party. What are, what's a stun finder? I don't even know. Oh my that. god. <laughs> Is it like no. a magnet? So so you no, you, you put oh. it on the wall and it goes beep, 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 beep. You're like, oh, there's the stun. I'm good. That's all you do. And what's under a stun? I like so that. the we, stud. Did, can you go back to that? What's the noise it makes? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's <laughs> pretty <laughs> spot on. Wait, that's the not light. the noise you made before. <laughs> It went. How do you call? There you go. That's it. That's how you know. And the stud is what though? It's the piece of wood that holds your house up. Oh. So it's the wood that you put the drywall. The frame. On. Got it. Yes. The frame. Can you guys uh, never build me a house? <laughs> I got you. Can you send us a flea? Actually, I think that'd be cool to look at. We've looked at fleas before. Oh. It's also obligatory for any guy to hold it against himself and make the joke. Oh, yeah. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. I get it. Not to be, a stud is normally a two-by-four piece of wood. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You could have just had a plank of wood instead of a stud, whatever that is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to change the category to... Educational. <laughs> makers <laughs> and crafting. <laughs> I mean, we're just gonna do. I honestly feel like we should just have Rihanna talk about how to build things <laughs> what and am I what things are made out of that she's built. Hey, I got my <laughs> lawn. My here's what I did. I took fix. a hammer and then I smashed nails into the wall. I don't know what it was made out of. <laughs> and then I tried to hang a shelf with nails. I'm just gonna back you up. You don't put up a shelf with nails. You put them up with screws. That's got to be a screw. It was a screw. But I you think we used a nail. I think we used a nail. A hammer. Instead. Well, we so, did. <laughs> so you have a screw and you're going like precisely. But it has the grooves. You should have known you. You turn it. We didn't have an electric drill, so it was the best we got. <laughs> Next up, no. just hammering into drywall. Hey, guess what? No. They're still <laughs> I feel like this could be a show, just this. Just <laughs> Brianna's like home makeover. Devil Mrs. J wants to see the root if possible. Also, how do you okay. build a successful I'm life? Not sure we got well, a root the five foundations to a, sub, a successful there, life is a five hundred dollar emergency fund. And I, it didn't look like we did, but not <laughs> some of them. Dave Ramsey pieces that we saw. I don't know. Little pieces, and I cut My them mom watches him like but. he's like a. Like I took something. his class in high school. Once a um, week, watches her. It's fine. Oh, and then the last one is to give back to those in need. Ah. Do it yourself, stream. That would be great. There I can be make. A stream I'll about, stream myself like, making a sweet potato. With a hammer and screws. Mm, a whole show based I have shelves. I didn't put mine up. I'm scared. Learn. I didn't want to mess up my walls. <laughs> Is this a broken part or is this a fault? Yeah, I don't know for sure. She that's wants to see the, the room. follicle part, but that's probably the closest you can get. If it's like, if you zoom out and that's okay. the biggest one. Well, that one next to it looks a little. This one's bigger. Yeah, follow, follow to the next biggest one. And then follow that all the way to the end and see what you find. Oh, know, that's probably out. the biggest piece we have right there. Oh, you get a cross section. Though. Look at that root. What's it? Yeah. Cool. Crusty. That's kind of cool. He's got some dandruff. Just kidding. It is dandruff? 
pet dander. That's how you get sneezing. Yeah. There should be one that's not broken. Oh, there might be one in the actual bag that's not broken. Uh, I, I didn't realize that was part of what you wanted. Nice picture, Mary. You're getting hyped up out here. She's all business. Mm -hmm. she, Mary's the boss here. I don't know if you guys knew that. Also, if she had a do-it-yourself stream, things would be done right. Mm, probably. She we knows, probably she wouldn't talk about doing. sweet potatoes. She knows how to What would you talk about, Mary, <laughs> on your little not, show? Not sweet potatoes. You should have come and helped Addison remodel her bathroom. Yeah, oh, that would be great. That would have been funny. <laughs> I helped put She stuff. probably would just strangle you. I helped make someone's <laughs> bathroom floor. I put some tiles on. Spread some gooey stuff. <laughs> don't know what it's called. Don't ask. That's crow. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Use a sponge. Yep, that was fun. <laughs> I can do some things. Ice. <laughs> I painted some fences in my life. You painted fences? Yeah. And you hung shelves with a nail. Actually, screws. my brother and sister got in trouble because they got a C on their report card in like fifth and sixth grade, and my dad made them paint the fence. And then I went out, out there and helped them for fun. That's nice. So that's when I painted the fence. Good memories. You, you gave them sympathy paint? Yeah, because I thought it was, <laughs> I just think it's funny. I was like, wow. It was all summer, too. Like, this wasn't one day, multiple days. <laughs> Every summer, my mom wants to paint the deck a different color, and it's like a really big deck. Every summer. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> Am I still going to slice people open in the future? Please don't show this to my future employers. Hopefully. She wants to be a doctor, folks. She thinks you put a shelf hook with screws that you hammer into the wall because you can't find it. We aren't taught basic life skills in school. This isn't my fault. <laughs> you have parents, though. I took a shop my class. My dad did in it high for me. <laughs> shop class? Did yeah. Did your dad watch you... the stream? No, I should tell him to watch the stream. You're just going to trash your dad the whole time? <laughs> He's going to hear the part <laughs> of the fence and laugh at me. <laughs> He's going to hear the part about putting up the shelf with nails and screws and laugh at you. Anderson and I had to ask him how to cook even better. chicken the other day, too. When the first, I don't like, oh, eat chicken anymore. But when I first in my apartment, I had to ask him how to cook chicken because I'd never cooked it on my own before. Okay. Ten minutes on both sides. <laughs> um, I find it weird when people use time to cook food. That's well, I cut it open to make sure it wasn't pink. I was going to cook it longer if it wasn't pink. If it was pink. That's a starting point. Yeah. Between that and potato. <laughs> Guys, I'm only at 19. I'll be a doctor when I'm like 20 something. I got years to she grow up. Know how many years it is between now and then, but it'll be 20 something. We're the something. same age. I didn't know that. Well, how old are you? 19. When's your birthday? January. Mine's in August. Ah. Mm. Thank you. Older Thank you for following. <laughs> Who? That's the bad word. You're 19. Oh, you're 19. So you're older. I'm not sure. I'll be 20 to in August. Skin. I'll be 20, 20 in January. Yeah, this is why we put Mary in charge of the SCM for the day. <laughs> You're so focused. Can you follow the little one out? The yeah. Tiny one? Look at that I'm curved one. Are oh, you looking to see? I think it's getting smaller. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was the biggest size piece we've had. Okay. But, uh, Do we want to look I at this one? No, there's a really skinny one if you go down. This right one? there, yeah. And I think you want to follow it to the left. Left. You're right. Funk isn't a bad word. Oh, it goes on to the next stub. Oh, nice. Um, do we want to go to the next stub? I mean, you can follow it over there. It's fine. Ugh. What is that? <laughs> That's a millipede. <laughs> this is so yeah. <laughs> They've got a little bit of a cat fister on it, though. Now you're in no man's land. Mary. He's a cat. I know. Is he? You yep. To pick a well, size. Wait, no, I'm gonna. Go back to four or three. <laughs> Not. No, but saying out loud is ambiguous to some people. Oh, it was four. I would have definitely it was four. accidentally yes. said the wrong way. You can just sort of scoot, scoot out towards the tip again and follow it that way. It's probably easier. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, yeah. it went it's under. Underneath the. Oh. oh. I can go the other way if I want. It's under the centipede or millipede. Okay. Is this what was on there last time that we had to take off? Thank this, you. We're trying centipede? our best. Yes, we had to take the millipede off last time, but we can put it on this time. Ooh, I want to see it. You one. have almost a hundred thousand attack points. That's crazy. <clears throat> what are attack points? Can you shout out all the science streams on here that you can watch? I don't know how to do that. All the science streams? Yeah, someone said that, that they love the science. Streams. Yeah, someone said they love science. Uh, streams. If you just type squad, that's all the microscope streamers. Um, if you want to find more science streams on here. The best thing to do is, uh, I have a, the knowledge uh, fellowship, <laughs> and you can find their Discord uh, <gasps> in that list as well. Mary. Commander Shepherd said they just went back and watched the video of the centipede beetle and cicada, and they said that Mary is great on the SEM. Thank you. That's why Mary's on the SEM Hyper right up. now. Let's go. She's getting practice for tomorrow, where mm -hmm. she's going to be looking yes. at her own samples and taking pictures from her own materials, diatom stuff, which we won't be streaming probably, uh, but it'll be, you know, I wanted Mary to get comfortable with the SCM, and then uh, also, I think she doesn't like talking a whole lot, so. Not really. So we make <laughs> up for it, it's okay. Yeah, we're here to So we have the chatty people in the back. <laughs> Yes. Pragmatic Mostly said, person, agreed. Mary is doing a great job. <laughs> I just laugh. Thank Amazing. You. I'm the laughing sounds. Paleontologizing. What? Someone has been watching... Oh, Q. yeah. Paleontologizing, we have, I have a link for them. They're not here, but uh, they gave us a raid last night. They did? Yeah. What did you stream last night? I didn't get on until after it was over. And then it was on Pacific Plankton for some reason. <laughs> because I streamed before her and then I raided her channel, so it went to her. I was confused. I was like, why am I on this? This is not Dr. Stone's stream. Uh, it is not. I looked at some pond sample that I collected from Hawthorne Wetlands. And it had a bunch of really cool stuff in it. Like, really cool stuff. And I missed it. I'm gonna cry. Dang it. Elisaur is a wonderful laugh track. Good job. Oh, yay. <laughs> the primary roll around here. Is yeah, this just a cool guy. something else? It's yeah, awesome. I don't know what that is. Okay. I don't think that's kitty hair. I didn't think so, but... It might be a piece of, of the stuff coming all the way over from the other. Yeah. That's kind of what it looks like. I don't know. I think we're done with the kitty hair for now. Yeah. Are you done? Yeah. I'm done. You feel done with it? I feel done with it. Get it off the screen. You're ready to look at a millipede? This is the millipede? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't go out anymore, so. Look at that little I'm guessing this little is thing. the mouth? Uh, those are the legs. Dude, that's, that's definitely the legs? its curvy okay. body around. It looks like a yeah, mouth, though. Its face will be sort of pointed up towards us right there. Yeah, this might be milkweed. You might be right. I'm not sure. I can't really tell. This, wait. Not milkweed. That's is there two things said. on here? This is millipede. Someone said it might be some milkweed. She's What's talking about this? what was oh. on with the cat hair. That's more legs. Oh, okay, I see, it I see. It rolls around in a circle, like a coil. I'm not confused anymore. And then the legs are all sticking out, sort of sideways, and the shell is in the back. And let's take a look at its face. Get in there on the face, Mary. Let's Micah it said to count its legs. Oh yeah, it's not going to be a thousand legs. And Miss J said, thanks for looking at my samples. That Thank is. you for sending them, we appreciate it, it's fun. Yeah. Where's its eye? It's that dot behind the antenna. This? No. No. Oh. Go up, straight up. That's that. it. Yeah. That's what nine. is that? The and eye. I won't zoom in. I want to oh. see it. It's probably eyebrow? hexagons. Now do you see what it is? It's got antennas sort of like on the front part of its yes. face and the eyes. It better be. This like, is a Do you think it's going to be hexagons? I don't know. Look at that. He looks like a butler. He's got like this expression. Butler? Yeah, he's like. You know what a butler looks yeah, like? Yeah, they always got this like eyebrow. They're always like. They have one eyebrow arched. Yeah. You need to focus, man. And um, yeah. It's getting better. There we go. There you go. 
looks like a piece of its eye cracked open. Couldn't handle it. The vacuum pressure. You broke its eyeball. Shattered. Well, it happens. Get that texture. Enhance, Mary. Enhance. Shepard says they're doing great. They just had a chocolate bar. I know. <laughs> I did not know what baby metal is, but... What's baby metal? Is that a band? I'm sure it's like lightweight, like heavy metal. Lightweight, heavy metal. I've not explained it like, you know, toned down heavy metal. You just think should have a whole stream of us. Rihanna explains things she doesn't know. <laughs> it's a Japanese metal band. Ah. Doesn't look like there's any texture on the eye. That's yeah, depressing. That's super exciting. Why is there no texture on the eye? Well, there is a little texture. I like like bee eyes, you know, where the hexagons? I do know what you're talking about. You had it there. There it is. That's as good as it gets, I think. It must be millipedes aren't as smart, so that's why their eyes are just like, you know. Black. I say go back and look at that antenna. Mrs. J post posts pictures of her old microscope in Discord. Uh, give me a zoom in on one of those crusty legs after that. I want to see them. Look, look at, at that actual hole. Actual antenna has a bunch of like. Looks like. We're well, not even gonna say it. it. Looks like a potato, but. A sweet potato. <laughs> Just a potato. <laughs> you don't <laughs> say it, man. <laughs> Tell me that. Cool little holes in the it's like that one Once again, yeah. blackhead yeah. stripped that thing before and after. <laughs> <laughs> Were you here for that last time we talked about that? No. Are we going to take before and after them that blackhead stripped? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get this in focus because that's a cool picture. Yeah, that's you fine. Guys seen <laughs> I've seen her before. <laughs> Not today, though. Okay. She like walked out the door and just disappeared into thin air and like done with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so Devil Mr. J posted pictures of her old microscope in Discord. If you want to see them. There's a link to the Discord. I think she means my Discord and not hers. What did you capture for us? Um, the like close the up. The port base of the. Uh, yeah, of the like circle right there, and then I think I'm gonna up close like the holes in the actual antenna. It's true. It is Mallory's Discord technically. Just see your knees. That's really weird. <laughs> I'm back. I think that's loud. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna be like, oh god. We could do some ASMR up in it's here. Another Start whispering into the mic. I got you. It's really mic. loud. <laughs> every. Uh, Sorry, I'll see back. Every day we have to put up with this nonsense over here. And, uh, I do a good job. <laughs> at what though? <laughs> at what cost is the real question, you know? <laughs> That's kind of cool. It looks like it's uh, like a space elevator. A little bit. Inspiring laughter. <laughs> Cool perspective shot. Yes. It's got like the little scaly things down here. Yeah. Okay. Are these like micro antennas? Or little hairs. Okay. Always with the little hairs on the bugs, you know? <laughs> yeah. They need to be able to feel things, and they have an exoskeleton, so the hairs are basically ways for them to feel gotcha. like um, 
like we have skin, right? So you can feel when something's touching you, and then you know. So for them, they just have little hairs, basically, so they can feel the wind. They can feel if they're digging around in something. They can kind of sense the surfaces that are touching you. What are the speakers for? Uh, for listening to music very loudly, if you'd like. That's fine. They aren't mine. I've got to lurk for a bit. Okay, Mrs. J. Miss J. Mi no. Was this a millipede? Millipede. Or, if you like, milkweed. String cheese. Robot arm. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm sorry if the spelling on some of these is not correct. It's going to be better than Mallory's spelling no matter what. Give me a crusty leg. I want to see one after that. Ew. It's going to... What do you want, Mary? You're in charge today. <laughs> she does whatever she wants. She's not taking advice from you. True. Mary, that kind of hurts. Oh, I was going to go there <laughs> after it. No, I'm just this. kidding. I want to see this. Show me. She's got a plan, and it doesn't involve whatever you want right now. Dang it. It doesn't involve sweet potatoes. <laughs> Dang it. The existence of a millipede should indicate the existence of a millipede. about those scales. <laughs> they look really cool. <laughs> I like them. I think they're fun. Do. do your thing. That's fun. I'm going to colorize it and make it look cool. Okay. It'll look, the, it'll look like the cover of a Journey album when I'm done. <laughs> Journey's a band from the 80s. Yeah, so. I know who Journey is. I'm just helping. <laughs> Hey, digital Welcome, digital Why is it I don't have a digital seahorse command yet? Uh, wow, he it. forgot about you, digital seahorse. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the disrespect. You know, I would probably would have it if I didn't spend most of my time babysitting this one. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Babysitting is when an adult watches somebody who's not an adult. You get two just because he forgot about you. I'm so sorry. Double shout out. Horsey. Horsey. <laughs> Horses. <laughs> um, I'm going to a horse show this weekend. Um, I don't think it's called a horse show. The Kentucky show. Derby. It's, Anybody the Kentucky have any Derby advice? is not a horse show. It's a horse race. <laughs> Uh, Kevin told race. you to wear the hat, and then you come back, oh, it, you gotta wear a dress and everything. <laughs> I need advice. <laughs> yeah, I have some do. advice. Make the dress like just yolk yellow and then a big white hat. A big white hat. Yeah. So, so I'm looking like at an egg. egg. Like, yeah. <laughs> you need to get like a sun hat, but it's got to have like the little flip up thing so it's sassy. Mm -hmm, sassy? Yeah. With the, uh, with the deviled egg on. Where in Terre Haute can I get um, a sassy hat? That's uh, a good Amazon. Question. Amazon, it's uh, Saturday. Yep. Good time. You Two could, day shipping. You could next day order stuff from yeah. Amazon. Yeah, Amazon Prime. I have Amazon Prime. I can just put on there in the request. I'm going to a horse show. <laughs> <laughs> please I need hurry. This desperately. Also, please give advice about dresses. How much money does it cost to go to the Kentucky Derby? I'm going to the one at night, so tickets are only like twenty bucks. Oh, nice. That's not bad. I know. You're gonna spend more on a hat than that. Probably more on the dress. Mm. You don't have any dress clothes. Not for the horse show. Their dresses are a little different. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm scared. It's not a show. <laughs> it's a race. Horse race, Mary. <laughs> you can. I do. I order. I go to Outback in our town, and I order no. one sweet potato, and I go pick it up. But it's only like four dollars, so it's a deal. For each sweet potato. They give me bread too. No. You know how much a sweet potato I am costs? not a yeehaw no. girl. I was forced to go to this. It's someone's birthday, so. You're forced to go to what? A horse show. I thought it was a country singer, and that was already like hesitant on my list. What? 
are you talking about? I thought Churchill Downs was a country band. <laughs> <laughs> you missed this. <laughs> Forgot. Churchill Downs literally sounds like a country singer. Like we I would had look, a whole me and conversation Jackie looked it up on Spotify, and we go, wow. I don't think it's a country singer. You thought it was a country singer. And I told my dad, he goes, you thought it was a country singer? Because that's like one of the biggest horse races there is. And I said, how am I supposed to know? I've never been to one. You thought Churchill Downs was a country band. That's amazing. And you were like, God dang it, I gotta go to this stupid <laughs> country band called Churchill Downs or something. We were gonna look up their songs. There's a song called Churchill Downs, by the way. Not a band, though. Uh, First time I've heard of it. That's what I'm saying, like, a, yeah. She wants to be a doctor, folks. I don't have to know about horses. You guys can deal with the horses or whatever. Oh, my gosh. Hey, it's Mean Machine Rex. Welcome, oh, Mean really Machine bright. Rex. Look, I've got a can for Rex. What are you finding for us, Mary? Are we looking at antenna ports? Those little yes. holes in the antenna? How do you Ooh, get a not so it's bright again? Clogged. It's this one, right? That's the button, yeah. You got it. Ooh. There we go. That's better. Now you can see the surface texture. Enhance. If Pacific were playing somewhere here, that's what she'd be saying. She's in class right now? Yeah, if she were here, that she'd be like, enhance. She probably would say that. Hey, who's the other? We haven't seen someone in a while. And I always mix them up, Pacific Plankton and this other person. And we asked who they were, and they would never tell us who they were. Tropical Geek. Yes, where where are they? I don't know. Have they been on here in a while? Mm. I think maybe two weeks ago I saw them on a bird stream. What is this like? So you have to get a hat like thing. this one. Dirt. It's white that is and fancy. Just it's like got dirt in the core. Like Very sharp. Sure. I guess. It could yep. be some organic stuff. That'd be cool. You know, it was living. That is true. And then died. Is the Indy 500 a rating system? It's a good question. How many stars would you give the Indy 500? Um, have you well, ever been Eleanor, to the Indy 500? Well, Eleanor has. Yeah. That was the best date I have not I've been on. to the track, not the an actual race. The best date you've ever been on was yep. listening to cars go around in a circle? Those tickets are expensive. We went and did stuff at the place. Yeah? It was cool. What did you do? We, had, we went, went to, to a private, house. they had like a private car show set up and we mm -hmm. did that and then. You looked at cars? Yes. Okay. And then we like walked under the thing, under the track and under so you track? heard it. That mm -hmm. was really cool. Better than they did I ever been on. That sounds like a good time. It was a cool date. Car show. Mary, what's the best date you've ever been on? Um. Really expose yourself right now. Make yourself yeah, the best your, uh, date. Beyonce, watch the stream. <laughs> he does not. <laughs> so we're safe. Woo! He'll be like, I don't recognize that date. Well, I've only been on dates with him. Oh, there you go. So <laughs> <laughs> there's that. Problem solved. Especially if he doesn't recognize that one, he's gonna be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, that's a hard one. Are you marrying your high school sweetheart? I am. I'm marrying Aww. my yeah. high school sweetheart too. Just kidding. I'm gonna burn <laughs> his house down instead. <laughs> Anyways, Mary, best day. I would love to go to a car show on a day. It sounds fun. We went to. Who said that? Commander Shepherd. It's fun. Commander, Rihanna's looking for a date. Just line it up. I don't know who any of you are, but we can go. You just gotta pay for my dinner. <laughs> Eleanor told She's me. Cheap. Eleanor told me that I have to find a man that will pay for my dinner. <laughs> well, you, you have to have standards. They should be polite and buy you dinner. Mm -hmm. She said if they try and split the bill with you, don't go out with them again. <laughs> What's the TOS? <laughs> Talking about arson. <laughs> <laughs> so don't break the t <laughs> TOS is terms of service. Oh. <laughs> you can't uh, threaten people with violence. I'm not threatening. It's a joke. Hypothetically speaking, I'm gonna set his house on fire. This hypothetical house she wants to burn down. Yeah, he doesn't even have a house. Lives in his parents' basement. Basement. So <laughs> true. True story. I'll buy. You'll buy me cheese curds. They better be the good kind, though, not from Culver's. <laughs> but. Honestly, 
the best cheese curds aren't from a chain that I've had around here. They're from this place called Suzy Q's, and they're amazing. Wait, are they, you're talking about fried cheese curds. Fried cheese curds. Not you know, just the like, cheese curds. I've I feel like you guys are conflating the two. Yes, that's like Is Suzy Q's fried. in Greenwood? Uh, it's in Vetersburg, Indiana. Okay, I've, I've never been to Fifi's, but I feel like they'd have really good cheese curds just because of what their stuff is like. They're like how fatty and grilled and fried their stuff is. Uh, cheese curds at Fifi's, but if they did, they'd probably have bacon in them. Mm -hmm. They have, oh yeah, I hate that. They have a donut burger. That was cool. They have uh, macaroni, wait, what are they? Macaroni bites? Macaroni bites, yeah. You know you're not supposed to go in there unless you're 21. In where? Fifi's. Really? Do you know that you I'm older 21. than 21? You know that I'm not. I can go wherever I'd like. Really. I would have not. I would have just walked right in. I wouldn't have. No, you can walk in, but like, um, they have, sometimes so you have to, it says you have to be 21. Why? I don't know. Cardiac just arrest, I guess. Serve drinks in there. <laughs> That's nothing to do with cardiac arrest. Best I can do is some all dressed flavored lays. Added Minecraft to the arts and stuff. We had to burn his house down digitally too. Okay, we're looking at the legs. Doesn't ma right, matter so which leg. Uh, Ooh, I want a leg. Yep. Which one? Give me a good one. A good one. Okay. Um. Keep scrolling. I'll tell you when to stop. <laughs> Ready. Stop. Here? <laughs> yep, give me that leg. We're going. Into the abyss. Eesh. These things are nasty. <laughs> Ew. This is I'm gross. telling you, all these bugs look like a robot. Yeah. It's going to be a little dark. Also, those plates underneath. I don't want the to, I'm going to. Cool. Yeah, that looks cool. Ugh. We might want to do one where we look at the actual, like, uh, the back part. Just like, like down that. here? Oh, uh, I mean on the or back of the body. Look at the texture on okay. him. Yeah. I do not like them at all. They're, no. What you don't like you like? You said cicadas are okay, but these are bad. These are just, <laughs> you, no. I, you don't like the millipede? <laughs> the legs, they're just gross looking. I think millipedes are the cutest, uh, like, bug bug. What I'm alien insect, movie is this? It's totally cute. Centipedes are kind of creepy, but millipedes are cute. <laughs> they roll up into a little circle, and they've got like a hard shell. I have no problem seeing them in real life. Yeah. You know, where I can't look at the legs. This is just, oh, it's just gross looking. It's like a bunch of like creepy things that move. Someone said, what well, alien movie? Think about caterpillars. <laughs> caterpillars are fine. Well, like a millipede's just like a caterpillar with a shell. Yeah. Now you don't feel any bad about it's it. It's it's just the close up on the legs, but I can't see the legs in like what real life. What if we got life. caterpillar legs? They'd be fuzzy. I they found have out suction cups on the end of them. That some caterpillars why are like poisonous. Why didn't you get those? I mean, why didn't I get I could have died when I was a kid. Should have gotten them. Some of them are really dangerous. Yeah, I just picked everything up, and I was like, it's fine. Stuck it in your arm. Yeah. That might not be yeah. as ambitious <laughs> as I want it to be. But someone said, "What alien movie is this?" <laughs> I don't know. Mary it's is a, the predator. <laughs> I do feel like if this was an aliens movie, Rihanna would be the first one to go. Mm, yeah. I'd kill it. Have you, you done you a cat? Killing the death scene? Is that what you're saying? Or what do you mean you kill it? Killing the big thing. No, oh, whatever the alien was? Yeah. Rihanna, you're the loud like, one, though. You'd be uh, the she first one down. This potato and it was terrible and it fell over dead. <laughs> have you done a caterpillar in the SEN? No. Oh, we have a. Uh, we, well, we did a mock, like a Luna mock, the uh, larva, which is sort of like a caterpillar. Well, I want a caterpillar. <laughs> you have to find a caterpillar. I'm gonna, you're gonna kill it. Gonna I'm kill not it. gonna kill it, you're gonna you kill would. it. You would. That Mary is a great debate. Debate. Would you rather be a xenoform or a predator? What is a xenoform? Xenomorph. I don't know. That is the aliens uh, from the movie Alien. Oh. Mm. Uh, definitely predator. Why would you not? No, Mary would survive. She'd last the longest. Well, I sort of feel like uh, the xenomorphs have acid for blood. Are we talking about Alien vs. Predator, the movie? Yeah, that was a movie. No, I thought this is what we're referencing. That oh, is what it is. Referencing. Uh, Mary is the predator, that's what Mike said. Yes. Pacific Plankton's here! Yeah. Hello! Uh, Welcome. We have something for that. How's your uh, diatom class going, Pacific? 
Did you learn something new today? Could you teach it to Rihanna? Teach me! She had a class on it and she still doesn't know anything, so... <laughs> I know, ouch. Darkham School rocks. That's kind of like a pun. Mario, uh, the science guy, I forgot to give you a shout out. Today was... Wait, I don't think I made a Mario. Imaging. Yet, did I? No. Can I be the engineer? No. You get one choice. You I know, would like to be friends. bishop. Like, Three in a church? Characters. No. In the movie Alien. I don't know how you remember this. The movies that you watch... I'm sorry, what were we doing after this? I was gonna look Mario. at the up close stuff. You can look at you want. I thought follow, someone wanted to look at something like else with space. the legs. Mario? The, uh, the outside shell, like where you are, but towards the outside of the organism. Like o the outside of the coil. We are looking at a millipede right now. This is done. Yeah. And it's on the legs of it right now. And welcome, Ursa Crafta. Yeah, hi Ursa. We're looking at a millipede. Earlier we looked at some mica plates and some milkweed and some kitty whiskers. And I thought I'd follow up the kitty whiskers with something really appealing for people who like cute things and we put a millipede on <laughs> right after kitty whiskers. And we might need to go back to the kitty whiskers just to cleanse the palate, I'm not sure. Because mm. uh, the next thing up is a giant beetle head. Look at that. Enhance Pacific, that's you. <laughs> Gen Z don't know Ridley Scott films. I do not know who that is, but I do know Alien vs. Predator is. I was Emory, named after a space Emory's movie. Chief by avoiding I was named after a song by, um, yeah. Um, you like cats and millipedes? Um, well, so do I. Gosh dang it. You know the song Rihanna by, um, do you know who I'm talking about? The Are song? you talking about it's, Fleetwood Mac? Yes, that's what I was trying to say. I love Fleetwood Mac. No, but it that's was what it's named after. You love them so much you don't know who they are. Dude, my brain blinks Dude, every five seconds. I listen to Fleetwood Mac all the time. That I believe. I, I listen to them. I love it. Yeah, can you go like all the way towards the outside of the shell though? Yeah. That is what I want is the like overlapping bands. Yes. Those are really cool. That is cool. I like cats also, this and view's not so, so I am good with that. With the legs and the bands? I'm gonna go in because it looks like it's not. He's looking thick today. R.I.P. <laughs> that's what I kind of like what I said. Nope, oh, that's not what I want. R.I.P. that. Hey! <laughs> Who don't know, so it's okay. <laughs> um, Ursa, I also need to make a command for you. Until then, we'll do it the old fashioned way with the at symbol. Because I don't think I have an Ursa command. But I will add it. I was honestly debating asking for caterpillars on the SEM. I found a tent caterpillar the other day and thought that would be incredible. Send it over and we will look at it. Yeah, tent, <laughs> tent, I wouldn't mind killing a tent caterpillar either because... Uh, you murderer. They're invasive. They're nasty. They kill trees and they destroy stuff. And the moths are fine, but the caterpillars are dangerous. Should I put eggshells out? Caterpillars are a little mushy, but um, if we put them in the SCM, they'll just sort of shrivel a little bit. They'll be fine. Ew. A hairy caterpillar, yeah. I guess I don't think I added an Ursa command. Ursa was. Um, Painting figurines last time I saw her, which I think was last night. Right? If you succubus. If you do find someone with the freeze dry machine, will you have them make us candy, please? Mm. We have freeze a freeze dry machine apples. in Genslo. We can't use it for candy. No, it's mostly used for drying out things like otter livers, so probably you don't want to put candy in there. Yeah. I wouldn't eat anything out of it, to be honest. Yeah. I think she's going to tell us to put the caterpillar in it. So that'll turn into fuzzy raisins. Yes. You were painting a D&D succubus mini. 
Do you play D and D for Sopranto? Or are you just making the figurine for some? Mm. Freeze dried caterpillars. Sounds yummy. I feel like you could eat those. You definitely can. I can. I feel like you wouldn't Vegetarian. want to though. Can eat caterpillars. Unfortunately. I feel like I would eat it as long as Rihanna didn't prepare it. All you gotta do is She's put it in the freeze dryer. I can cook it in the oven. Mm. Toss them in some Can oil. you though? Some garlic. Mm. I mean, I don't trust your oven equipment. I don't think the temperatures are right. Mm. My I feel like it wouldn't get cooked all the way through. Mm. Do it before you pop it in the SCM. Yeah, we could try that. Like, we should just go buy some mealworm from the store. Put them in there. We'll pop some into the SCM and then we'll pop some in Uranus now. Mm. What? That no. sounds gross. You like jelly beans. You know, birds like mealworms. <laughs> <It does. laughs> <laughs> uh, robins eat them, bluebirds eat them. I'm gonna go to the pet store and steal fur off of a guinea pig and then we can put it in here. <laughs> Why? My next door neighbor has guinea pigs, by the I'm way. I'm trying to think of cool I things to like put in here. I feel like that's easier than you going to a store and trying to rob them of guinea pig fur. I thought about mealworm <laughs> from the pet store. I'm like, what else can you get from a pet store to put in the SCM? A bird talent. Oh, this is done. Your, my biology teacher also ate a mealworm. Is this in front of you? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> my phone looks ginormous. It it's did. Not. It, it was weird. It looked like that. One. Put the camera. It's kind of weird. Wait, what? They said my phone yeah. looks ginormous down here. How big is your phone? It's yeah. regular size. It is regular see. size. It's because the. <laughs> it's, it's the camera. It's the white. No, angle. I just have a look how long my hand is. <laughs> <laughs> she also has creepy long arms and uh, knees apparently. <laughs> As <laughs> she goes off to the side. Just, hey, guys. Check out my knees, guys. <laughs> I can help your paints if you'd like. I'm trying to kick you. <laughs> make sure the caterpillars aren't poisonous. I'll make sure I only get poisonous ones. And I'll <laughs> feed them to everybody. <clears throat> you know the ones with the blue stripes? Yeah, maybe just so get those ones? only yeah, the okay. plates. They're cute. Are they poisonous? I don't like, know. Zoom in and more so it's like just yeah, this part? Yeah, just okay. that width, basically. Someone said shed snake skin. That'd We've looked cool. at snake skin before. I thought we did, yeah. Um, I had some students, yeah, like in that. That's good. I had some students for a class, and one of them brought in some snake skin and we looked at it. I think you need to zoom way in, and then focus, yeah. and then zoom back out to this point. First it's arson, now it's poisoning. What's what's next? How can I get more extreme? I need to know. I don't know, but I do feel like you're gonna violate the TOS if you do too much more extreme. I'm not gonna do that. I would never. I'd sacrifice my career. It. You've lost it, Mary. I did. I think it like triggers them whenever they hear That's arson. Fine. Do it on the legs and then zoom out. Do you think it triggers Twitch whenever there's the word arson too many times in chat? I don't know, but I feel like uh, I'd rather not get my account banned because you want to talk about it. It's not me. They keep bringing it up. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> keep going. You're almost there. <laughs> Need injuries to practice healing. It's all strategy for becoming a doctor. Now is now and refocus. Yeah, somewhere in there. Come back here. There we go. You want to get a dead fish and then cut its scales off and put it in the SCM? We've um, looked at scales, fish scales before. What haven't we looked at? I think we looked at everything. What's going on here? It'd be cool to look at a dead frog. Yeah, that'd be cool. We've already looked at dead frogs. I was kidding, no. <laughs> we have looked at fish scales. Arsonia Hall? Arsenio Hall? Is that like a joke on... Yeah, uh, we definitely got um, mealworms and crickets before, and I probably have some crickets around in our house from when we had a pet toad, 
that are dead, but I could bring in if people wanted to see crickets. And we have some sort of cave cricket-like thing that lives in our basement that our cat eats, you know, yeah. when we let her down there. Let's get spiders. I'm looking for spiders. Uh, get some crickets that are like this nope. big, one of those kind? No, I want spiders, not the, the cricket scary spiders I've seen. It's a 90s joke. You wouldn't understand. You were born too far past that. <laughs> what? He said it's a 90s joke. He's Remember Arsenio Hall? We asked you what that meant. You said you didn't know. I didn't say that. What does it mean? He's a, he's a uh, he was a uh, an actor who then became a television host. I don't understand the joke. That's okay then. Sorry. It's alright. Jamming out. It got quiet all of a sudden because Rihanna stopped talking. So. <laughs> it was like a pause. <laughs> well, everyone stopped at this joke and I don't understand the joke, so. Well, Google Arsenio Hall. Oh, it. That's what I was joking. That's what I was guessing. So it's like a way the, to say the, the. It's a way to say the A word without saying the A word. Yes. Yeah. Anybody have any things they want to say about their day? Any great things that happen? Oh, Mike has a question. Oh for my you. gosh. Oh. Uh, right now, no developments, but I'm working on it. She showed us a picture of her. Are you working on going to Mars? Yes. Photoshop with Elon Musk today, so she's yeah, well yeah. on her way. You photoshopped yourself into yes. a photo with Elon. It's really Musk. good, honestly. Yes. The lighting looks good. Like it's. She's there with him. What for? It's her husband. <laughs> just, you know, why not? He's already married. I had it posted up in my Whatever. door. Grind and then I had, like, all my space away. photos around it. It was great. I got to work on a flow cytometer oh, today. That was pretty cool. Not, What's a flow okay. cytometer? Flow so stop. Flow cytometer? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what they used it for. We usually use it to separate out different components. Um, in, uh, in geology it's used sometimes for, or paleolinology it's used for separating out things like pollen grains mm -hmm. from the rest of the materials so that you can um, do like radiocarbon dating on the, on the pollen grains. Um, I mean, I, I suppose it could be used for many other things. It detects cell antigen markers to diagnose cancer cells. That's oh. awesome. Are you a scientist or are you like an undergrad? <laughs> Those are your only two options. Professor. <laughs> there is chemist. Like a scientist and undergrad. I got to sleep in you and listen to an audio book for a bit. I love Cannot that. Cannot be both or Peaceful day. neither. I just want to know. It says Mario the science guy, so. Did you see the uh in a week, I will be a certified like a scientist. Well, oh, congratulations wow. on a being away. like a scientist. I'm like a scientist. You're like <laughs> half-time scientist. You just got promoted to full-time scientist. I'm a full-time scientist. Full-time scientist? Look at Mary. What are you doing? Get married. I'm trying to get it zoomed in. It oh, probably helps if it looks slower. What's, uh... Did you change the beam intensity to five? No. You've been running I at beam intensity so. 5 the whole time? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I touched it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think I touched some, it. Do you want some help with getting it in focus? Because yeah, we need to get a little closer. <laughs> that would help. <laughs> All right, let me do that. I'm I don't think I touched it. No, no, we've been just running at beam intensity 5 the whole time. <laughs> it's okay. That would uh, actually help out a lot. <laughs> so make sure you change the tilt to 10. We'll get nice and close. That will help. I was going to say, that was like about as close as I could get, and it just it wasn't doing that. You want something like this? 
Yeah, I was trying to focus and it looks like there's some sort of, like, with on the scales, some sort of texture. Yeah, there is. And it looked interesting. Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill Nye. I put him in my senior jeans. Bill Nye? Yep. Your science jeans. My senior jeans. When I graduated high school. You guys had senior jeans? Yes. It's kind of fun. This is a big deal. It's a big deal. Yes. And I had those little, like, pom thingies. You know, the pom pom thingies. It's just like a Texas thing. It is. It's a Texas thing to do. Oh. Thank you. We didn't. We just had a shirt. <laughs> and we signed it. And it was oh. signed with our name. Yeah, that's. I'm sorry about that. We didn't have either of those, so. Wow. <laughs> what did you guys do? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> we, we weren't even have... allowed to decorate our caps. Did you, did you do senior prank? Like, where you decorate the hallway? Um, we weren't allowed to because the grade above us kind of ruined it. See, this is what I'm saying. Everyone is concerned for you now. They go, jeans or jeans? Senior jeans? What yeah. are senior jeans? Everyone's confused about your senior jeans. Yes. Yeah. All the girls. When you graduate, you get jeans and you customize them with pictures and things that are important to you. And you make them really pretty. Is that what you want, right? Yes. yes. That's what you do. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing either. Did you get it in focus? I wasn't really paying it's attention. In focus. Okay. <laughs> you can be sued. Oh, because your name is Mario Science Guy, like Bill Nye Science Guy? <laughs> I love Miss Frizzle. Magic school, I know what you're talking about. Do you? Yeah. I never watched the Magic School Bus. I'm too old for that. The episode where what's his face turns. They have the new ones now, though. What? Magic School Bus. They do. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Wow. Arnold. <laughs> um, I'm old, so, you know, we didn't have that technology when I was a kid. A television? Yeah, back in my kids. <laughs> <laughs> we watched Captain Kangaroo. Her son watches the new oh, I didn't know version of the Magic School Bus. See? Is it terrible? Tell I me it's, it's terrible, terrible, please. It's probably better than the ones you mm -hmm. guys watched. No. It's the probably reboots are never twice good. as good. There's also a new Dora the Explorer movie. Everything just being ruined. That was a decent movie. I watched you watched it. it. I did. You watch it too, Mary. Did you sing the map no. song? Pitiful. Ma I did not. I didn't watch it. I did. Map, 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 map. There was other songs, but I don't think that was one of them. Was there a backpack song? Yes. Yeah. Jerry asked it was put your hands up. Version. Ooh, ooh, crack pop. That's you. <laughs> no. <laughs> the books are better. Graphically, it looks better, but the voice is the same. It's pretty good, actually. There you go. That's you got depressing. shut down. I like Max and Ruby. Did you guys ever watch Max and Ruby? That I don't know. What I, I hated I that like show. Yeah. The cake looks so good. What are you talking about? She was so bratty. Yeah. She was. Just I was probably that sister mm. in my family, so that's probably why yeah. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Like my a, siblings drew me off a top bunk one time, so I do love Caillou. <laughs> there you go. Caillou. Everybody hates that little brat. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Rihanna's like, oh, I loved it. I watched Max and Ruby. Max but and I Ruby's a good. I did. It was so annoying. I think like Max I was had... the annoying brat. Ruby's just trying to take care of her, her little brother, and he keeps running off and doing stupid She's stuff. She's so mean to him, though. Maybe he's smarter. <laughs> she wouldn't have to be so mean. Obviously, the parents aren't doing very well in the picture, so she's basically a mother. Mary's got all the controls down. Very passionate. I know, she's doing amazing. Yeah. You're doing great, Mary. Thank you. Max. Also, you're dressed like a patriot today. Yes. <laughs> Randy Shapard says, don't ever apologize to anyone for liking something. Thank you. I will never. Unless it's Caillou. 
Caillou. The song's good, too. Nobody likes Caillou. I don't even know Everyone Caillou Everyone likes is. Caillou. He's a little, little bald kid, like... He's a little jerk. Everyone. Nobody likes Caillou. Everyone likes Caillou. He's a sweet little boy. He's just doing his thing. You know what I didn't like? Thomas the Train. Their faces are scary. What? <laughs> you like Max and Ruby, but not so, Thomas so like, the Train? They're like, God. Dude, Thomas the Train what is, is wrong good. with you? No. Mary. Mary. I love Thomas Mary. the Train. Mary. Mary, calm down. The, micro- uh, the microphone's right next to you. Sorry. Mary. Sorry, guys. You're blasting people with your yelling. I probably was too. It's really okay. <laughs> Time to throw it out. <laughs> Some advice. Unless it's a terrorist. What if you like the A word, though? What's the A word? <laughs> Antelope. No, but really, what's the Figure A word? Figure it out. Agreed. Caillou is the time is there. Is butt? It looks like it's butt. You better take a picture of that. The millipede butt is amazing. Is that actually its butt? Yeah. Do you think, the, do you think it comes yeah. out of that like a human? It looks like a corgi. <laughs> Do you think it comes out like a human? I wish you could keep them alive. You, I think it comes out like a human. Is that what you just asked me? <laughs> like the way a human uses the bathroom. Like Gross. those are his cheeks, Rihanna. No. Yeah, those are the cheeks, Rihanna. <laughs> I don't it know this is. Comes out like a human. What is that? Is that sexual butt? <laughs> yes, that's a butt. This <laughs> has got booty. We're literally <laughs> violating oh this God. thing on the stream right now. He's got back. He's <laughs> got junk in the trunk. <laughs> Aardvark, cruising on down street, main street, you're relaxing, feeling good, next thing you know. You should put it on this, yeah, on this speck of dirt, then you can focus Digital it Digital seahorse, I think I saw a caterpillar yes. poop once. Actual booty, yeah, that is actual booty right there. Now it's better, keep going. Keep going, <laughs> okay. Keep going, you're almost there. There we go. That's it. Sometimes Mary just gets a little oh, lost. Oh, look, it's yes. poo. That's just pollen. kidding. I know. <laughs> A bit of pollen, I believe. Incoming Twitch ban <laughs> for butts on stream. <laughs> yeah, we put we put butts on stream. It has a hairy butt too. Oh, Look at those little points on the top. Gross. No. You just Mary. You better take a picture a of that. Butt, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> it literally looks like a human's butt. Like it's. It looks like a human's butt. Is that what you said? <laughs> yes. Look at the little hairs at the top too. When I gross. when I post this one to Instagram, I will put. It looks like a human's butt. It's close. <laughs> and I'm going to tag it in it. You don't tag anybody. Maybe you shouldn't tag anybody in that one. I'm going to tag you. This this is a millipede. <laughs> we have the millipede, finally. Oh, the butts. Oh, you yeah. better make it like tan. Like, <laughs> like, 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 make it look like a human. <laughs> Are you gonna try to sell pants? Of food. <laughs> uh, Milla booty, I like it. Milla booty, yeah. <laughs> Mary, I know you look at that booty like, dang. She's staring at it. I know. <laughs> Mary, look away. Have a tramp stamp. <laughs> yeah. You should look for a tramp stamp. Check up on the back side there. Okay. <laughs> See what it's got. This is some top bottom content. Top tier content. Oh, top he redeemed mustachioed. Oh, uh, did we have a mustache? You need to put it on the butt. I think that's what they're wanting. Uh, what? Scroll down a little. See where it says mustachioed? This? Yeah, click the little eyeball. This. And then move the mustache on the screen. Move it onto the, the butt. No, wait, wait. It's over there. Where the heart this, is. This. Yeah. yeah this. The red box around it. Just this. grab it and pull. No, that's not her. No, that's not her. I'm sorry. That one. Uh, I'm here, sorry. Here. Lock the heart. Lock the heart. The lock button. That one. Yeah. Now you should be able to move it. Grab the red button. There you okay. go. There you go. Now put that on the butt. You're doing there you go. Right. Wait. No, you have to put it on the cheek and the crack. Make it, make it, make it bigger. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta size it appropriately. You gotta put it on the crack at least. Yeah. No, on the crack, queen. Pull it over. <laughs> but there, there we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> That's mustachio. <laughs> can no, you rotate? No, they want you to can't rotate. rotate it. We can't rotate. That's not an option. I oh, you need can't rotate. rotated mustache in order to rotate. Oh. Uh, Make the crack fit in the mouth. Mary, move the mustache over for everybody. <laughs> wait, I'm just going to wait till the picture stops taking. That way it stops moving. Because I'm just yeah. going to keep 
It's just going to keep going. Slipping down the butt crack. Scrolling down that butt. With yeah. the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the viewers want. This is what they you want. Give them what they want. Okay. Uh, they want mustache and butt. <laughs> from insects. Well, it's not is insects. Is that good? You need to add this one to especially the Especially with the little well. legs. Especially with the little legs. I think it looks good. Right there, it right looks here? like an eye. And then the mustache, and then he's got little legs. Oh, yes. Yeah. Perfect. Dapper man. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to sag. Do you, do he's I already this sagging. Here, what do I do? <laughs> Probably we could add like a monocle to the do? one dot. you got to go mm -hmm. to the uh, SM screen. Yeah, hit OK. Save that. I think you know what you need to name it. What you put? <laughs> right. Indubitably, yes. Wow, she's really scrolling down into the inner butt crack right there. I'm intri- uh, these legs look different. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Those are the butt legs. That's why they look <laughs> They help dig up the area where they can poop They've like, you can actually see the little yeah, claw thingies. tiny little claws on the ends of them. They're kind of cute. Now we're zooming. They got fecal matter. Uh, you need Ew. to go back and hide the mustache, though. You're putting the mustache oh. on everything. Sorry. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah, <laughs> it is. Just to the little eyeball button next to it. <laughs> this one. Yeah. There, there you go. You're there giving you go. away free mustache to people. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Mr. Book, 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 book. Okay. <laughs> Nick Bonoffis. Tiny, tiny little claws. Is, what was that? What was that noise they made? That's the noise they made. <laughs> Mary's doing a great job. You did a great job oh, with the mustache so. placement as well, Mary. Thank you. Don't let anybody tell you different. Does this just delete? Does this stay on there? It's like backspace. Uh, you can shrink it, yeah. And then if you want, you can lock it so it's not going to be something you pick up. There, there you we go. That was the edge part of our stream. Now that that's over. <laughs> this is very educational. We've learned a lot today. Centipedes do have butt crack <laughs> and the human centipede is possible. It's oh a millipede. God. Human millipede. God. <laughs> have you ever seen that movie, Dr. Stone? No. You As you shouldn't. You're outside my realm of comfort now. It's scary. It's gross. I, I couldn't get through it. I watched it. I live. I was like, I got to the part where they showed it, and I was like, I'm done. I don't care how popular this is, I can't do She's it. It's like, worst date ever. No, <laughs> no, that was not a date. Thank gosh, that would have been awful. This is worse than a date where the guy jammed a stick in my arm. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad date. <laughs> Everyone has gone radio silent in the chat right now. They literally are like, they're mortified stunned. from the butt. They've seen it. We've reached peak millipede, and yeah. now we're on the other side of it. I know. Nobody's saying anything. This is depressing. They're waiting for you. They look, They feed off of you. Wait, they feed yeah. off. What else can we... Look at the hyperlink name. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> McButtox. Spiky Athletic Donkey Arson. No, no sexy. sexy. <laughs> Excellent. We had arson right in the name. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, that's it. It's a clip with the mustache butt. We're ready. That's going to be the most viewed mustache butt. <laughs> I feel it appeals to the audience that we really try to get to with our, our stream. 
Yeah, the names just it randomly generated names, and that's what it came up with. Hmm? With arson right in the name. <laughs> I don't know how it worked out that way. It's it listening to you, clearly. It is actually random generated? Yeah. <laughs> is that a joke? Hello, Sarah Holcomb. Sarah, you missed it. We were looking at the a millipede's butt, <laughs> and we put a mustache on it. Right now, we're looking at the millipede's back legs. Right next to its butt. So these are legs number 999 and 1000 right there. Those are the last two. Um, they don't actually have a, a thousand legs. That's funny that those are random and that's what they came up with. <laughs> uh, and uh, there's its butt. Mary brought it back for us. Mm. Bring back yeah. butts, Mary. <laughs> and then zoom out so they can see the head. Well, you got the butt shot, now I gotta get the head. There, it looks very sad. Probably because we just looked at its butt. I need mortified yeah. too. It's like 30 people have been staring at my butt for the last 10 minutes. It looks like it's literally like this. <laughs> Doesn't make anybody sad. Uh, next. Okay. Oh, wait, before you go, we need to lower the stage so that we don't ram the eagle head into the. Uh, How do I do so that? Let me do that. Okay. Or you can do it. Okay. Very right good. W, on it. D, and Z. There's eight. This, that. this. Yeah, there's a little arrow next to that. Click that. And then click on 15. Mm. Now we'll move the stage down a little. And actually, if you move I it should. down even farther, we might be able to get most of the centipede in. So go to that. And so click, this? Click, yeah. Click 25. Mm. We can do it like an overview shot of the centipede. That might be kind of cool. That would be cool. Far out, I think, as we can go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Maybe. That's well, gonna be a good it with its legs <laughs> Like that, or do you want to like try to move it a little bit? Yeah. Do we want? It? Oh, that's a good insta pick right there. Back that out. We can't. Oh, we can get deeper actually. Go back up there, where it says twenty-five in that little block, and don't click the arrow, but click inside there, and type thirty-five. That's about as far away as we can get. Do we want the butt in there? Up to you. I kind of want the butt, butt in there. Butt placement's <laughs> okay. up to you. Head yeah, and the butt. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Uh, I stumbled across your screen stream after I got my first microscope last week. Just got in the microscopy. As a hobby in my 30s, love me some electron microscopes. Thank you. Bye. Presto? By Presto? Right, Presto? Uh, we also love electron micros <laughs> microscope. I was saying microscopy, but I did not say it. You don't um, know how to say microscopy? Our favorite thing to do is image butts, obviously. <laughs> All kinds of insect and arthropod butts. Yeah. When we have them. Because most of the time I decapitate things. Mm -hmm. And cuts off the butts. The butts are the first to go, usually. <laughs> we just look at the uh, the head section and a little bit of the thorax. The first to go, the saddest to see gone. If you want to see some more microscope streamers, oh, goodbye. I made a list for Pacific. you. Pacific, thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, Pacific. Have fun with the rest of your class. Tell uh, Sylvia that I said hello, or Mark, depending on who's there. Oh, you have homework. You gotta work on your model. Yeah, this list is, uh, that's pretty much yeah, everybody, so but there's maybe a few more people that actually are now microscope streamers. I saw that uh, Glorgana had her microscope out the other day, but she has a little rinky-dink one, but she was streaming from it. I don't know if that qualifies to be added to the list, but I might. And, they found uh, you from Jolkson. Jolkson, yeah. Jolkson's another <gasps> microscope streamer. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought Michael was me. And um, so it's a pretty good list. Uh, that'll get you the most of them. Wait, is that a tie? No, I don't think so. Mm. 
What are you looking at? That it's got little bumps like the other bug eyes. Bug oh, eyes. It? Uh, do you not like the? We can't see it from where we are. When we're done, we can zoom in. This part. Oh, maybe. That would make. Maybe that's just a cheekbone we were looking at. Let's zoom in and take a look yes. at it. We've got something else to look at on this one. I think millipedes are cool. I don't care what anybody says. I like millipedes. I think they're pretty fun. I like them like this, dead. I like you like their butts, Aww. Mary. Be honest. They're kind of gross in real life. Cute no, butt. they're cute. They're not even like scary. They're just cute. Let's take a look at the eye. Potential eye. The eyes are above the antennae. Oh, you googled it? No, they're dark in this image. Someone said that. Oh, there's the hexagons. Is it? Flex a flex a hexagon. Is it here? But that made me think of it. Is that the eye? I guess it could be. I think it oh, is. Wow. Oh. And the other thing. Could I would say I thought the eyes would have hexagons has, on them. It does have a little acelli. Thank you, Commander Shepherd. That's a really weird looking eye. Like it's not even like it's out of the skin. Yeah. yeah. Definitely has the sort of typical acelli shapes. We have five different centipedes that I'm always seeing when I dig in my garden. You could dig up dirt around rocks to look for more bugs to look at. Who said that? Ursa Crockett. Oh. Well, uh, this I should point out, this uh, centipede was collected by my daughter. Well, it makes Sylvia collect more things. Child um, labor. I just asked her. Things. I don't tell you tell her. Let's be real. So yes, <laughs> she doesn't respond to no. well being told to do things. Are you sure? I can. Yep. Maybe. Well, we're super far out, so uh, you know, the little details probably won't be able to get very well. But we saw it. Yeah. So all the all the bug guys look kind of the same. Someone just knocked on the door. I don't think so. I can check. The door's though. open. How did Sylvia's rock turn out? She painted the rock uh, just one of them just all pink and another one all white. So I think she was putting down just base coat mm. to, uh, to explore. He will update you. Is she gonna paint the rest of it? Well, I suspect she will. Yeah. Mike. Um. So we wanted to go. To what else? There's another one over. Mm. Go to six. There's a giant beetle head over there. Beetle head. That looks a little scary. It looks happy. Yeah, it's a fuzzy beetle. It almost looks like a hippo. Um, it kind of does. Well, oh my like gosh, it does now. I was going to move the nose and the tongue. Dang, she said enhance all the way. Oh, shoot. So fuzzy is right. Little, little guy. Mary, you're turning into an expert. Thank you. That's what we hope. Mary's always been an expert. You're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. My bad. <laughs> it's gonna look good when we slow that down. There we go. Like that. Look at that little hippo. So um, should I do the auto brightness? Yeah, probably. I only like bugs when they're zoomed in. I found out. That's a really? little. Because they look cuter. Because you can see their faces. Like, look, it looks smiling at us. I don't want to see their faces. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it harder to eat them. <laughs> I don't eat them. Oh, on I'm just purpose. Checking. I don't know. You guys can eat cows. Chicken's checking. pretty fun. I feel like. What? <laughs> Would you say? Yeah, that's a real fuzzy bug. So uh, I'm trying to think of a name of this beetle. Um, hippo. I don't think. I mean, you can call. Oh, it what hippo type of like, what type of beetle? What kind of beetle is this? <laughs> you said oh, it's not a June bug, right? It's like a June bug, but it's fuzzy and brown. Have you seen a Lucas spider? How, oh, have you seen Lucas? I have a seen Lucas spider? the spider. No, it's a video. It's Lucas Luca, the spider. Luca the spider, the 
YouTube videos. You mean, yes. Yes, it's so cute. Bumbleflower beetle. Bumbleflower beetle. That's kind of a fun name. I think. I'm going to send a picture of my flowers in the Discord today so you guys can see it. It's beautiful. They blimped. Why are you looking like that, Mary? <laughs> you think my flower's dead? Probably it's the probably only doing better than Sikanya's. It definitely is. <laughs> I mm. took it home. <laughs> At least it's going somewhere Has loving. anybody been watered, watering Laura's basil? I mm. think Addie did. Okay. Or at least she checked it yesterday. We're gonna kill all the plants. It's so cute! Little hippo! I just wanna pet it. Mm -hmm. I'll send the flower pics. I worked really hard. I thought it was gonna die. It hasn't bloomed and it's been like... I've had it for like almost a month now and I was getting stressed. What are you talking about? My plant. It, I had it for like over a month and it still hadn't bloomed and I'm like, I literally murdered this thing. What kind of flower is it? It's it a type of like lily, I think. I'm probably going to say that and you're going to look and be like, that's not a lily. But I think it's a lily. Do you have a picture of it on your phone? No, I haven't taken one yet. Out. My child. What? I guess I'll send my succulent too. Is that? No, that's its mouth. Those are the little petty palps that go around the mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Was that a shutter? <laughs> yeah. It's gross up close. <laughs> it? It's cute. It looks like a little it's hippo. Really, I Why just... a beard going? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's got a little beard, yeah. Look at those legs. They're it does. Awesome. It has... It's like the Grinch. It's so <laughs> ugly. It's cute, you know? That Yeah, that's what it is. But it also just kind of like, ugh. Those legs, though. You need to put them away. They're kind of gross. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Eleanor. <laughs> Let's not shame him. Yeah, yeah. some people, they're like, um, no foot pics. I'm like, no insect leg pics. What is it's gross. this again? If it looks like uh, a lily, a it's beetle, probably a lily. I'm not sure what You're right. probably right. Do I know my plants very well, though? Let's be real. <laughs> no. Sarah says, I would enjoy flower pics. You know, um, I was thinking about doing a stream where I just sort of edit photos and sort of showcase some of my photos, but uh, I was saving it for like a sometime in the future. Is this a antenna? That's a front leg. Oh. That's pretty cool though. Not gonna lie. It's like he's that like branches. I think I can get both of them. There. I find Lucas' no. spider creepy. What is wrong with you? Lucas can is I cute. Can I this one? Yeah. What are you trying to get? Like the entire leg. Oh, just like the front legs. Uh, you might be able to zoom out a little bit more. Like, I'm at max. No, I mean lower, or, lower it. See if you can get to like 40 or something. Right yeah, here. Yeah, actually, yeah. you're gonna get banned for bug feet pics now. <laughs> 37, 29.3 is the lowest we can get apparently. Do you want me to draw a tattoo on you? Do you want a tattoo? You want a tattoo? Yes, I would like to have a <laughs> tattoo of jeans with holes on the knees <laughs> on my legs. I'll draw them on your jeans. Draw them on my legs. Mary, what do you got in focus? Do you want a tattoo? Let's see where you went. The hair. I'll bring in my oh, notes more. No, do you want a tattoo right now? Mm, I'll probably pass. Why? Because I got swim lessons. So do I. Claws I can't on have the kids being feet. like, what is that? Those are a little bit scary. scary. It's a tattoo. They're awesome. Yeah, it's real. No, I don't have any tattoos. Yeah, look at it. Those claws are It amazing. might be They're an cool. amaryllis. I think it might be. They are cool, but they kind of gross me out a little bit. I love bugs and spiders. This is fun. I doubt anyone would be into bug feet pics. You'd be surprised. People are into everything. They probably are. Mm -hmm. Mary, you want a tattoo? You're next. What's your husband's initials? GW. I'm gonna tattoo M plus J on ya. J is not the correct letter. It's G, it's Gavin. G. I thought you said J, J. I knew it was Gavin. <laughs> Gee, he's trying Gavin. to get me in trouble or something. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna come home. Who is this? Who's J? Yeah. 
we should uh, take a look, a close look at the eye area. There's some sort of weird Is thing going on. Is this the eye? No. Touch your hand to my no. hand. I think they're on the sides, but I'm not positive. Like right over there. This. Yeah, I think okay. that's the eye. But I want to look at the claws too. It's a double heart now. <gasps> Is this the last thing we're looking at? I need to take a double heart. I'm gonna something sleep on it seven. and I'm gonna get a big this. mark. This I got two. It's a double heart. Double heart. Mary, put your hand against my hand. Yeah, you get triple heart. <laughs> oh, she only has one heart. <laughs> it's like a stamp. <laughs> Rihanna loves me more. You want a stamp? No, I got two. I don't. <laughs> Thank you, though. You're welcome. <laughs> Side offer. Centipede eye is a dark area that looks like cat eye eyeliner. Okay. Oh, that just. Oh. to take a look at it, sir. See if we can figure out. Because that thing that we were looking at definitely looked like it had the little eyelets. Um, it looked like it had the little like hexagonal ocelli, the plates that basically make up the compound eye. And then most uh, bugs have another set of eyes. And maybe the centipedes have those as well, our millipedes. Look at those claws. It's like, I would good. like to give you a hug, Mary. Uh, no thanks. No. <laughs> 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 Ugh. You don't like hugs? Not, I don't like bugs like that hugs? much. Who doesn't like hugs? I like hugs. Mary. I like hugs, just not, not from hugs. us. Yeah. Um, this Look at the one on the top side, because you can see there's like a line that goes through it. That same area. That one? Yeah, this one. Yeah. Yes. Look at that, it's weird. Also, we're super far away. So if you want to zoom in on something. Ursa Crafter, you make the dress and I got you. Mary, oh, don't look at the chat, it's a secret. And can you hold your finger over the stop button up there at the top? This? Yeah, just hover it. That's how when we move the stage up, always have your hand over the stop button. Okay. In case it seems like it's going to crash into the stage, you want to be able to Crash stop. and burn. No, it won't. You're fine. Ow, my leg hurts. I'm giving you a little bit of experience on how to move the stage up there. It's actually the most dangerous part of anything I could ask you to do. Okay. So. Good job, Mary. I'm Mary. Mary. Guys, That's from Cinderella I, I story. I pushed them out of the way, but you, you seem like you got it. I've done this before. This is my first rodeo. I've never broken yet. This is her. This isn't her first horse show. <laughs> my first, first horse show. Mary. Everyone's cheering for you, Mary. Have you watched the Cinderella story with Selena Gomez in it? What? I have. have. Have I watched what? In it, they go, it's Cinderella story with Selena Gomez in it. And then they go, Mary. Yeah. Ma what are you talking Mary, about? Mary, that's for you. <laughs> she doesn't know what you're talking I about. I watched either. that She's recently. Not it made me cry, actually. I'm yeah. honestly not. <laughs> cry. I was like, Dude, I, was I got a right here, <laughs> and I gotta make sure it doesn't bite me, so Rihanna, shut up. <laughs> Mary, she said, just remove a super expensive machine. I'm yes, trying it's not so to, good. Guys. There's no cool Yeah, like, there's no bumps or anything there. It's just like a line of hairs. I'm not sure if that's the eye. Look around. See what you can find for us. <laughs> it's got little hairs and holes 
like the other one that we saw the other day. That, this stuff looks weird. Dude, yeah. look at that. It looks nasty. Ew. Looks like a vacuum, like, you know, the bottom of a vacuum. You mean a vacuum cleaner? Yep. What's the difference between a vacuum and a vacuum cleaner? Vacuum is what it's currently in. A vacuum cleaner is a type of sweeper. Oh, maybe it use. does have. Do you know that if you hold a crab up to your ear, you can hear what it's like to be attacked by a crab? <laughs> I did not know that. Thank you. I'll try that. <laughs> maybe the beetle has psoriasis. Maybe. Could be. Its skin is kind of scaly. Yeah, it's a little dry. Hurt. You need some lotion. Uh, I feel like lotion would be bad for the SCM. I feel like it'd be good for the beetle. See, it does look like they have little eyelets on there. Yeah. And then there's some scaly part when you move to the next little area. Like so it's here? just really subtle. Or the surfaces are really subtle. Yes. Okay, well I'm gonna head out from the stream. But You're done? Yeah. You got sweet potatoes to bake or something? Yeah. I should probably get back to work. I've got slides to make. You're gonna work and you're gonna play? As usual, shows up late, leaves early. I should appear at 9.30 today, so she literally did. don't even... I was like, what's up, 9.30 Mary? is still Mary. after the start time. We all... We, everyone comes at 9.30. Eleanor was here when you got here. At 9.30. I came in at 9. What about now? She's here at 9. Every day at 9 o'clock, Eleanor is here. Just took a nap. 9 to 5. So, she's the only one that's right when the rest of us are showing up at 9.30. Mary showed up I, at 2. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's I had to work. Didn't I, I, I worked this, this is morning. Ridiculous. It's true. Mallory was here at two. Then Mallory didn't show up at all. She was here too. Mallory? She was in the stream. Oh, you're right. She yeah. was here. Goodbye, Twitch. If you were on time, you were late. That's a do, yeah, Doctor Stone. That's how he is too. Just kidding. Doctor Stone doesn't show up until like ten thirty every day. So, don't let him fool you. Uh, at 10 o'clock, I was here having a meeting with somebody until noon. 10 o'clock. Late. Late. We occasionally run field trips to the chips. Bam. I'm going to use the comment with our students about holding a crab to your ear. It's a good dad joke. <laughs> yes. Goodbye, you guys. See Have you. Fun. They'll miss you, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm waiting for the... Oh, I might say goodbye. You're waiting to see bye to them? Yeah. I like the attention. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you need the attention? No, but I like when people say bye. I'm just waiting. But nobody else to say goodbye, so. They don't I guess want I'd to say goodbye. bye to you anymore. So long. They're done with you. I'm cry. <laughs> see you at Ursa Craft, though. <laughs> there, there's a delay, so. Micah said bye twice. Micah said bye twice. Actually, Thank you. Actually, it's the third time. Yeah, honest. technically it's the third, but. Now I can come over to this side and make my phone look extra big like Rana's. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. What are these, like, these things? Those are hair. Just, like, on its eye? Like, or is it just because it's dead. Um, I know this may come as a surprise, but I don't know Mary. No. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly have no idea what that is. I don't even know what kind of beetle it is, so... Uh, I know it's a beetle. Yes. And uh, this one flew into my windowsill. I watched just Cicada run into this person's car at the bank today. <laughs> just like, she was sitting there and just full on like ran into, not even the window, like the full on, the metal part that's like red. <laughs> <laughs> right into it. There, there are things I don't know. And I'm not afraid to admit it. What happened? I didn't touch you knocked it out of focus. Oh, uh, I don't know what I touched. The focus wheel, probably. My hand's been up here. Oh, maybe I bumped that. I might have bumped the uh, middle part. Uh, that shouldn't have done any. Oh, that yeah. would change the speed. Yes. Yeah. That might have happened. 
It's okay, we can crop that part. Fuzzy beetle hairs. Let's look at it. Is this like part of its head still? Or is that That's part like of its the, back? The first segment of the back. Yeah, what happened was uh, beetles will fly into the window area and then for some reason they can't figure out how to get out. Um, and that's where I shoot pictures of birds from that window. So I opened it and there was a beetle that we saw on the last stream that Mary imaged a bunch of uh, cool pictures from. And this beetle was in there. And this one was still alive when I first found it, but it was just barely like moving. Cool. All those different kinds of hairs. It's the goosebumps that Mary gets when she sees beetles. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. It was just like like up close isn't that bad, but like the full body kind of grossed me out a little bit. Yeah. Does it look like it's coming out of the stub at you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. The um. So this one wasn't moving very much, like it was, it was done for, and I thought, uh, I guess I'll just sacrifice it. <laughs> so I put it in, I had a little container where it was like the centipede, the millipede, uh, there was a June beetle that we actually saw, the little ones, and, um, and then I put this one in there. And by the time I got to school the next day or two or whatever, when I brought them in, uh, it wasn't moving at all anymore. So. Recently, stopped living. There's like dust in between the hair. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, it, it needs to clean itself, but I feel like it's past time for yeah. that. Yeah, it looks a little three dimensional because uh, when I <laughs> chopped it to get it to go onto the stub, the back segment uh, that you can see that we're on right now, so that's the first segment of the the thorax uh, it comes out at a weird angle and I just sort of chopped that segment off and that's why we got a bit of the front legs as well because the legs are attached to the front part of the first plate of the thorax <laughs> uh, I have not offered beetles uh, any showers um, you think I could have at least blown it off with one of those sort of dusty, you know, spray cans that you use to clean off a keyboard, but it didn't happen. So it just accumulated a little bit of dust from the windowsill, probably in the, in the fuzz. And that's, uh, that's how we got here to, uh, beetle land. It's got a nice uh, fringe right here around the uh, the connection between, this is the head and that's the thorax, I believe, the, the separation between the two. And there's a fringe of hair there. The little like um, craters with hairs coming out of them are always kind of cool. back hair. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, just got here. Is this the beetle head? It is. It's the head of a beetle. And um, we're looking, so that's actually its back uh, that Very Mary is zoomed. super zoomed in on. Um, the That's the first segment of the thorax and then the head yeah. is that part. Yeah. And um, if you go down, maybe we could look at its sort of the face area. See if we can find its eyes. It could be that there are those things right here. I'm not sure. There's no texture like we usually see for beetle eyes, but um, so not sure. 
That seems like a good place for them to be, though. Um, what else do you want to look at here, Mary? Um. Look at the mouth parts. That's got a pretty big mustache. It does. And then it's got little teeny antenna uh, coming out right at us there as well. Oh. What are these things? Like right here. I don't know. I'm going to get a picture of this. First. Just in the front view. Mary has learned the advanced focusing technique. Just got it down. Double click, zoom in. Focus, zoom out. <laughs> the fringe probably works like the brushes. Yes, it cleans your shoes if you hold it uh, <laughs> next to it too. It keeps the dirt off the head. Exactly. Uh, hello, shrink 46. We're looking at bugs today, and also we saw a millipede, we got this beetle, we had some kitty whiskers, uh, we had some milkweed fluff, and uh, what did I leave out? Oh, muscovite. That was our collection of things. So we learned a little geology, we're doing a little bit of uh, entomology, and... Um, in, I don't know, cat dendrology or something, whatever you call it, danderology. Uh, thanks, Ursa, thanks for hanging out. Uh, it's been fun, yeah. I'm surprised nobody asked me to put a mustache on this thing. I feel like it deserves a mustache. Uh, but it really already has one, though. So. Double mustache it. Uh, and then we, um, tomorrow we're gonna look at some serious stuff. We're gonna do some real research uh, instead of just goofing around a little bit. Um, we're gonna look at some diatoms on the SEM and uh, Mary's gonna be in charge again. It's all Mary all week on the SEM. Um, and also tomorrow, Mary's got to have her talk ready for us. Yes. Because you're going to present on Friday, right? Yes. Do you want to talk a little bit about what your project's about? I can. So I'm looking at diatoms um, that we found in a sediment trap on the Wabash River. Um, it was taken out of the site that they thought an old train car um, there was a train wreck that happened there. Basically, it fell off the bridge, and they... Off the, the bridge, into the river. Yeah, into the river. <laughs> Got to specify that. Um, into the river. So it created a sediment trap there. And um, the overall project was kind of just looking at to see if the train car was actually there. And they confirmed that it was. Um, but the train car was causing a sediment trap. And so I'm going to be looking at some samples there to see like what kind of diatoms they have, um, what the like what the ratio I guess of certain types are. It's this picture. With the objective of reconstructing. Yes. Yeah, so we want to try to reconstruct um, like past water quality. Um, past river conditions by looking at the different diatoms. And so why couldn't you do this in any old river? Why um, did you need a train wreck? So most rivers, they um, don't have places really where you could get a sediment trap that preserves well enough to even have a record. Um, just because like the river bottom's always moving. So the train like causes the sediment trap to keep accumulating sediment, hence the name sediment trap. <laughs> yeah. 
I just they so. might not be familiar with the idea. Yeah. It's not normal conditions. And so um, this is also probably going to be part of Mary's master's project. So she's in the accelerated degree program. And so we're doing a little bit of the research this summer. And then uh, what's cool about it, potentially, besides the fact that it's associated with the, uh, a train wreck, is it's not the only train wreck <laughs> that led to potential sediment traps, right? Yes. So um, this is one of at least three, right? Yeah, of three. So there's one that happened right here in Terre Haute. Uh, do you remember when? Did you tell them that? Um, the Terre Haute one happened on February, in February of 1900. I believe it was on the 23rd. So, like, uh, hundreds. 121 years ago? Yeah. And then, um, so there's potentially as much as 100 or so years worth of uh, of sediment that's probably accumulated there. And then, where are the other train wrecks that you might look at? Attica and Lafayette, um, both in Indiana as well. And they're also on the Wabash River, right? Yes. So Terre Haute's on the Wabash River. So they're train wrecks from uh, other time frames. Are they also 1900s? I think they are. I haven't really looked into those as much because it's not part of my SURE project, but I would guess that they're anywhere from late 1800s to early 1900s just because of the area and that's really when things were kind of developed i guess uh so pragmatic wants to know is the choice of using the same river significant to the study yes um well for me it is because i'm uh, wanting to look at just the Wabash, but if I were wanting to look just kind of at, in general, I would say no. Um, but my study is specifically focusing on this river. Yeah. So it gives us a way of comparing if we have three different records from three different places that are on the same river, but they're just downstream from each other, we could look at the water quality differences downstream, basically, or upstream. I'm... And then I yeah. also want to point out, uh, when Mary was explaining it, she was wanting every time, <laughs> yeah. instead of just wants to do it, she was wanting to do it. So she's definitely from Indiana. Yes. <laughs> um, I Part of the project that's really going to be, in, or like my overall master thesis, which is going to be interesting, is it goes, like the order from like, the headwaters to Terre Haute, it goes Lafayette, Attica, and then Terre Haute, um, like going downstream. So Lafayette has been known to have like just slugs of gross waste coming down. And by the time it gets down to kind of where I live and then a little bit further south, they kind of like go away. So I think it'll be interesting if we are able to see that from the train wreck, see like really poor water quality at the same time, like not as poor water quality, like downstream from it, but. Yeah, just trying to figure out sort of where the the wastewater or whatever the uh, elevated nutrients are coming from. So it's kind of a cool uh, project. It's funny because it involves people who can't drive trains across a bridge and uh, then potentially those becoming something like a sediment trap. Yeah, I think maybe those could be the eyes. They're really interesting. Maybe they're just antennas though. I don't know. They're on both sides. Probably you need to go down just a little farther so you can see the, uh, the part that's out of focus down there. Unless you want to focus on the hair. No. She's got that hair pretty sharp. <laughs> yeah. Here. Let's go this way. Uh, the plan is just those sites. Oh. Uh, okay. What'd you say? Oh. There we go. I got something. I think. Mm. Oh, those just look like the normal scales around yeah. the body. But it does have a texture. 
zoom it out. I'm sure what those are. Maybe some sort of sensor. Kind of cool. It looks like it might be attached to that part. Yeah. Okay, just curious. Yeah, so Pragmatic, pragmatic wanted to know if, um, if you'd compared them to estuaries or something. But uh, for the Wabash River, uh, it leads to the Ohio River, and then from the Ohio River to the Mississippi River, and that leads to the Gulf of Mexico. So the only way for us to get something comparable would be to actually do a study from the Gulf of Mexico, uh, which is a little bit out of our range. Uh, one of the things that's cool about it is um, we don't have to go very far to collect the materials. And so for Mary's sake, um, it's also, you know, nearby. Yeah, I live in between here and Lafayette, so it's kind of like the perfect area. Um, where my hometown actually Careful is. Careful where you're revealing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're doxing yourself, Mary. <laughs> my hometown is along that, but. Yeah, there you go. Unless you want people showing up in your hometown, uh, wondering, where's Mary? Yeah. Well, I don't live there anymore, so. Right. Close by to where you grew up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a pretty cool little project um, we more or less just came up with on the fly. Um, after we found the first train wreck site and considered um, collecting sediment cores from it. So the sediment cores, we looked at some of the Wabash River stuff from this before in the SEM. It was a long time ago, like maybe back in... Um, March or something, um, or maybe even earlier than that, because they were putting a poster together, and Mary was one of the authors for that poster. So, and then we're extending that project for for this uh, research that she's doing tomorrow, and she's been doing for the Sure program basically for the whole summer. So, and. There's still some plan you're going to go out with them when they yes. do the coring for the the other trains? Yeah, when they um, go to the old train sites, um, the plan is I'm supposed to be going with them when they go, but it kind of depends on when they go because they, they don't have set dates. It's like wicked knees they have. Yeah. The front claw probably would come in focus a little yes. bit easier because it's not underneath the... It's like hanging off the edge, so... You got those scales, yeah. There it goes. That's pretty cool. This uh, really starts to pop when you get the around the sort of spiny parts of the claws. Very cool. Time for me to go I'll look forward to those cool butt pictures. Yeah, we'll work <laughs> on it. Uh, we'll see you later, Micah. And the tiny claws are really pretty cool. Thanks for hanging out, Micah. Also, Shafard. It's reaching that time of the day. Everybody's got to go eat dinner or whatever. Get to work. Uh, hopefully, you got your uh, your uh, attack points worth out of this, Shafard. Probably next week, we'll get back to doing more sort of diatom, uh, serious diatom research as well. So... Um, I've got a bunch of SCM work I need to get done. These are fun, but also I, I still need to, I have work to do, so. Super cool textures on the claws.
Work is for suckers. Well, we're not all independently wealthy, pragmatic, so. Also, I like my job, so I don't mind working. These are just hairs, aren't they? Yeah, they're coming out from up there. Yeah. There's more of this sort of sensory hairs that they use for, I guess, telling what's in their claws, what's around their claws. Maybe. <laughs> Is it work if you like it? Well, they pay me, so I feel like technically it's work. They kind of look like dragon scales. Yeah. That's the way we roll. All the little insects look like dragons when you get in close. Uh, Sarah, I really always appreciate your support. Thanks for hanging out. I think you're still at the front of the list of people who've uh, given away gift subs for the channel as well. So if you were going to stream something on your own, Mary, what would it be? If there was a Mary stream channel? Um, I don't know. What would you, what do you do? Drive. What's that? Drive. Drive? That is 95% of my day, it feels like. Driving from one place to another? Yeah. You don't have uh, craftable hobbies? Hanging um. shelves? <laughs> With the... Screws with really. a hammer? <laughs> no. Um, I used to sew in 4-H, but I just don't have the time for that anymore. No time for sewing. Um, so, nothing really. Did you sew with like a needle and thread, or did you sew with a with the sewing machine. machine? Sewing machines are one of the most baffling instruments to me. You'd think like... I can use a scanning electron microscope. A sewing machine shouldn't be very challenging, but uh, I can never figure out, like, it's poking a hole down, and then somehow it's making it come out a different hole. I know. How is it moving? I can't figure it out. Uh, I, I looked at the schematics before, and I was like, yeah, I still don't get it. Zoomed in on those ridges. If you really want to get that picture, we need to probably get a little closer you're down into like you know tiny microns well careful 10 or no where are we oh you can move to 10 yeah Sarah says lots of people stream their driving. My driving's not that interesting, though. It's a lot of cornfields. <laughs> Sometimes she sees eagles. Don't let her I lie do, to you. I do. And owls. And but owls are only at night. And Your night driving would be amazing. That's I can't take my back roads anymore because of road construction. Yeah. So, oh, I forgot. Did I actually hit? I don't think I actually hit that. Uh, Digital Seahorse says it's like those wood puzzles with a rope. Yes. The ladder, Jacob's ladder. Yeah. Using the thread as another needle as it goes. Yeah, I don't understand how it works. She says just be careful not to dox where you live. I'm not. Back roads in Indiana is not going to be a very good clue. Yeah. <laughs> You've narrowed it down to a 300 square mile area. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're okay. If you install text to sh uh, text to speech, you can chat with everybody, and it keeps things busy. Um, she I have like used that option before, and it doesn't always. Type the right words. <laughs> That's just going to make it funnier, though. <laughs> One time, I, I don't even, like, I can't remember what it was, but 
whatever I said, it was something that isn't like anywhere near what, like close to what I said, so. I just go ahead and tell people who I am and where I live. Nobody's that interested in me. Yeah. <laughs> Old guy with a beard, we can find those anywhere. <laughs> we don't need to go to Indiana for that. Yeah, I mean, that's great. You know what my backyard looks like, but, you know. Still not super interesting. Why is it like a different focus right in there? I didn't touch anything, so it wasn't. Uh, this little band right here? Yes. Is that what you're talking about? The, like, how right through here? Like, do you see that different? It's oh, like this? more spotty. Yeah. Uh, I think there's actually like a three dimensional, like, if you look over here, I think it actually goes up and down. Ooh. There's okay. actually like a curve to the surface. That and makes if you sense. look over here, the depth of focus is actually 20 microns, but I don't know if you're, if you see that's the 20 microns. So the difference from the front of the claw to where you are might actually be close to the boundary because you focus like sort of up gotcha. in the top part. Yeah. So it could just be that. Okay. It's like a horn, but it's instead a claw nid. It's the little tiny horn-like structure that sticks up from the claw. Pretty cool. It's got crazy ridges on it. There you go. For people who don't know what we were looking at, that's the little claw at the end of the uh, beetle's front foreleg. And we were super zoomed in on just that little bit. I feel like it's one of the coolest things about the scanning electron microscope is the uh, getting a sense of scale for what you're looking at. You know, yeah. we're super zoomed in. So that's where we were at. <laughs> we're just taking a look at this little tiny piece of it. Go down to 25. Yeah, and I think we had to actually back all the way out to 35 or something in order yeah. to get the. See the stage is moving down actually lets us zoom out a little bit farther because we were as close as you could be to this thing. Yeah. So that's where we were. And just for scale. Yeah. There's that guy. And that uh, the little stubs that are in there, they're that it's resting on are this big. So for for clarity, the this dimension that you see here little thing uh, is the width of the stub that's in there. It's like as big as a dime. It's smaller, it's smaller than, than a dime. dime. It's smaller than a dime, but it's, you know, it's uh, one and a half centimeters, basically, if you're in the metric system. So, feet close-ups, exactly. Uh -huh. Did we want to try and find the eyes or? I don't know. I'm giving up on the eyes at this point. Yeah. I really don't. <laughs> unless it's the, these things, but I don't think, I don't that's, think it. that's it. I think it's mouth parts are in the mustache in there somewhere. See, it's got little like this. Yeah. Those are just hairs. I think these things are like little appendages it uses to shove stuff in its mouth. I think these are its eyes, it just doesn't have a lot of texture yeah, on it. Yeah, just low profile. Is this the last thing that we had on there? Yeah, I think this is it. So, get through everything, and it's almost 5 o'clock anyway, so probably a good time to end the stream. And um, you were going to make hot cocoa, because <laughs> the best before date is just passed. Well, you better hurry. Uh, I think cocoa will probably still be okay, even uh, even later 
even after a while. I'm going to find us somebody to raid. And I'm gonna like have Mary help us choose. Okay. Jolkson is looking at uh, Rotifers hanging out in a microscope. Gorgana is cleaning some skulls, mostly not gross. Sharon is doing art. Uh, she does glass blowing. Uh, let's see. Freckled Science is looking at engineering sorts of stuff. I'm the geek, fiddle, mandolin, guitar, and Dr. WD-40, a nature hike. What do you think we should do? The art glass blowing sounds really cool. Glass blowing. And Sharon has also got a geology background, so that would be nice. Introducing the old new nope, Ford we don't want that part. For... Uh, let's see, we'll get this. Control C. And you got the glass in another tab already. There you go. Well, we'll help you out. We'll combine you down to one. We'll give Ashirna a raid. She was in the channel uh, Monday, right? Looking at the centipede or something for a little bit with us. Okay. So, um, a friend of the channel and a recommended person that you should view anyway. And this would be a good time to say thank you to people. So we had a couple of followers today. Avocado, Avocado, and Hugh Funking Knew It. Uh, and then we had a micro authority from Mallory from Florida who's collected some material while she's there and she wants to put it on the SCM when she gets back. So we might also get a little bit of that next week as well. And uh, Ultimator Area, Error, thank you uh, for hanging out. And two chooks, hello and goodbye, I guess. And we will catch everybody again. I'll probably stream. What is today? Wednesday. Yes. I'll probably stream on Thursday in the evening from my light microscope. And um, there's supposed to be some sort of a thunderstorm tonight. So if that happens, I might try to get the thunderstorm captured. But it always lies and tells me there's going to be a thunderstorm, and then it it goes around Terre Haute for some reason. There's so. supposed to be a solar eclipse tomorrow morning. Partial solar eclipse. Yeah, I don't know that we'll catch any of it, though, right? Um, at 6.30 in the morning, you'll catch part of it as the sun's rising. Because I looked into it. Give it a shot. Okay. We sent them off. Into that channel. 